Oh my god, a hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. Sub only stream, bog you. Okay, stream elements still ain't working. Sad. Get boomed, non subs. Notifications go crazy. Yeah, who's on the noti? Who's on the noti gang? Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. Sub only. Ayo, first sub only stream. Let's go. I wasn't gonna stream this weekend, but I got my homework done. I'm gonna hang out with my friend tomorrow, so we got time today. Also, I have a new tweet. Go like it. Go like it. Bro, I hate, I hate when cameras default to the front facing. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to stream yesterday. I know, I was going to, but I just didn't feel up to it. Oh my god, hi Meg. Can we get some PSA2 yos? Hi Kim! Is this your first sub only stream? Hi Kim! Oh yeah, guys, I made sure, I made sure that, um... We were actually a sub only stream because the last time I did this, because when if you stream if you stream for so long, you can change your audience type to where you can have everybody watch or just subs to watch. So the last time I did this, I forgot to change the the audience. So <laughs> it was anybody could watch it because I'm D O M. I'm about to hit the gym so I can watch. Hey yo, watching peace in underscore seventeen at the gym. Does that mean I have to, like, be hype and shit? Because, like, if I work out, which I never do, but when I used to, like, jog and stuff, I used to listen to... I guess pop, but the one song that <laughs> I would listen to on repeat if I was jogging would be... Um... Is it called Fe- It was a Fall Out Boy song. I think it's called Phoenix. <clears throat> I, I can't sing it. I ain't doing it. Also, I've missed you guys. The last time I streamed was Wednesday, wasn't it? Sad. I mean, I already, I already hit my 3D quota for the week because we streamed Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So that was three days, but they were kind of like shorter streams. I need to get my hours up. Non-subs be sobbing? Any non-subs in chat? Oh, wait. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay, if... Because how subscriber at least... Should I turn cam on? Type 1? <laughs> Imagine nobody types one. I mean, I'm down for no cam stream. It's just like, I feel like nobody would watch if there's no face cam. It's... Oh, controversial but true. I couldn't remember my catchphrase. I was like, is it harsh but true? It's controversial but true. It's very difficult for somebody to like gain an audience if your audience doesn't know what you look or sound like. So it's either you need to have one of the two. Like you need to have audio only or video only. But I feel like if you had video only, then it'd be kind of hard to not have audio. I don't know, because my sister, when I started streaming, she's like, oh my god. I want to stream too. I want to stream... Um, Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay, but no face cam, no mic. And I was like, that's literally D.U.N. Because, like, the whole point of streaming or, like, YouTube is that people know your personality. Like, do you think people are going to watch some rando-ass play Red Dead Redemption, a dead game? It's in the name. If they don't know who you are, it's cringe. And then she was like, true. <laughs> oh my god, it was that? Hello. I, <laughs> I feel so bad. I told my sister... I would try and be quiet today because I was like, oh, I'll do art today. So it's either do sub only on main channel or do calligraphy on the art channel. But I was like, you know, let's be cold to the lamb today, Copium. I'm sitting here. Also, camera angle is different. You can see. What is that? Those are paintings on the floor. Um, I had to change the angle because I only have one DSLR. So it zoomed out a little bit. I... I don't know how to make the angle good. Can somebody teach me angles? Because, like, I was looking in the mirror, and 
you see okay wait see right here it kind of dips in like if i wasn't chubby like my face would be so small can somebody help me with angles do we need like the this angle <laughs> what if what if somebody streamed with like a bird eye pov wait then it would just be like crotch cam wouldn't it i think that'd be bad okay guys you can't clip some only stream so i can say whatever the fuck i want okay hello um we had Keelan, Mac, Kobobo, and Kim in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. It's been a while, it's been a few days. I can barely talk. Oh my god. You know what's interesting? What I learned today, what I learned in boating school is I've been watching a lot of SpongeBob, and the reason why is because um Stonepile will just watch fucking SpongeBob on stream, so I fall asleep watching his streams. Um Anyway, I need to watch Spongebob again. I think my sister has the season 3 pack. So I might watch that sometime. I don't know. What was I saying? Oh, apparently. So, you know how I have a big brain? Apparently, that means I'm officially immunocompromised. Oh, fucking god. I'm- I <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny. Cause like, every time I hang out with my friends, they're like, Why are you wearing a mask? Or why are you sanitizing? You dummy dumb, you don't need to do that shit anymore. But it's like, we don't know yet. Now, if they give me shit for sanitizing my hands, I can just be like, I'm disabled. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bad. I don't know why it's so funny to me. But, yeah. Oh, another reason why I was thinking about it is because I posted a TikTok this morning, I think. And then the clip was posted on YouTube the other day. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Guys, I, it's the only way I can handle it, by joking. Um, I think I posted it... Oh yeah, I posted it. The clip was called Respect My Boundaries, and it was me talking about going to the supermarket, and like the lady like standing too close to me. Now if anybody does that shit to me, I can just be like... I'm disabled. But then it's also hard because like... I was thinking about this because, like, my sister, she wants to go to Nintendo Land because it just opened. Oh my. Okay, should I play the game? Let's play the game. Wait, I didn't change the color. Hold. Oh my god, what is that? Hold. Sub only stream is epic content, okay? <laughs> uh, why do we have the pink bat border? It's not border. It's not Valentine's anymore. There we go, red. For B L O O D. Let's play the game. <laughs> so I'm tired. Why can't I sacrifice myself? Wait, did I disable it? Hold. Max, I'm sorry. Um. Manage uh, rewards? Hold, hold, hold. Let me fix that. Okay, it should be enabled. It should be enabled now. Okay, it's there. Thank you, Mac. Yeah, peace, I27. <clears throat> okay. So, we have one more heretic to defeat, and they are in Silk Cradle. Last time we played, we defeated the first boss in the world. So maybe, everybody cross your fingers, everybody peace I to pray. Um, here is the copy pasta for today. Oh, the, the command doesn't work. Hold, hold. I don't know why the freak stream elements isn't working. I don't get it. I don't understand. They said it should be fine, but it's not fine. There you go. There's a copy pasta. Everybody copy and paste. Copy and paste. May peace be in you. Every time someone dies, or every time we sacrifice somebody, just put may peace be in you. Um, we have 12 followers, guys. I fell off. <laughs> I got ratioed. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, also another thing. Um, since Keelan, since I fucked up your name, I rewrote it. And also I've decided if somebody gets five subs, they get their name in rainbow. It's like a shiny card. It's like a rare. So there. I remembered to fix it. There we go. Okay, may peace be with you. Thank you for redeeming Keelan. You will be added to the cult whenever we get a new follower. I also forgot the controls. Has it been a month since we've played? Uh-oh.
We love sacrifices. Yes, we love all of them. Oh, wait, it's the start of the day. Okay, let's do our morning prayers. Dude, I haven't, pl I haven't played on the Switch in so long. What was the last time we did gaming? Like, nearly two weeks, huh? Because we did Wii games and then... Oh, wait, no, we did Mario Kart like two weeks ago. Yeah, because since Valentine's is over, streams are back to normal. We're going to be doing fucking gaming. Oh, wait, I need demons? Wait, what was I talking about when I was like, wait, I should start gaming? Yeah, I was talking about how I can use the disabled card if somebody gives me shit, um... I don't like any of these demons, they don't have good powers. <clears throat> I mean, nothing else really happened the past few days. Oh, I got all my homework done, because since I'm hanging out with my friend tomorrow, I was like, shit, I guess I gotta do it today. But I got it all done in like two hours, and when I say in two hours, I mean I do actual work for probably like a total of 30 minutes, and then the other hour and 30, I just can't focus and concentrate. I feel like most other Zoomers are like that too, because like, I feel like there's this big trend of teachers like quitting on TikTok where they'll like tell their grievances, and then... Like, ooh, this is why I quit, and this is why the American education system is broken. But then, which are all valid, the system is broken, okay? But then I saw this one guy being like, well, we should, like, have more empathy for the kids. Because, you know, they get scared to get fucking murked every day. And it's like, true. I don't know if there's like any like proper solution to how to fix the education system. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> I haven't played in two weeks, guys. Oh! <laughs> I forgot how to play. Wait, pause. Okay, I am on normal mode. I am on normal mode. It's no longer easy mode. No one can give me shit. <gasps> Kobobo is descending! Uh-oh. Okay, yes. Come one, come all, to the palace of wonder and delight. Where all that glimmers is gold. Guaranteed. Midas's cave opens seven days. Ooh, new area. Yeah, guys, I think we all need to kick Kobobo. Where are they at? <gasps> Ooh, lore! Guys, it's lore! I am not what I once was. Though no longer wise, I am no fool. I know the end draws nears. <laughs> nears. <laughs> I can take some comfort in confession. The blame hangs heavy round my neck. I introduced him to ideas of change, for my domain is knowledge, and it is ever evolving. An organic state of being for myself, but for him, more or most unnatural. Death cannot flow backward. It was I who had cl Dude, I cannot read. I made a new work friend. Let's go. That's great. Okay, reset. It was I who had had him chained, forced into subju subjugation by the four of us. <laughs> Subjugated as you too soon shall be. Make peace. Bow to me, lamb. I refuse. I ain't no follower. A lion is the guise of a lamb. I expected no less from the vessel of the Red Crown. 
Very well. War is also my domain. Oh, damn. This is usually where they introduce the type of enemies you'll see in, like, the boss rooms. Oh, shit. I totally saw it. I know when I was working, because I worked with one food service company for about three years. And then after, like, six months, I was granted an assistant management position. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I hate the projectile weapons. So, I think the most difficult part was since, or once you become management, it's very difficult to, like, not necessarily be friendly, but, like, be able to, like, hang out or, like, be friends with your coworkers. Because there's always going to be, like, a level of imbalance between stature. Oh, like, <laughs> stop! Because I remember, there was, like... There was like three female coworkers that we were like super friendly in person and in work with. And like I was pretty friendly with all three of them like on an individual level. But then one day like I saw they all came into work and they had like all their nails done. I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. And they're like, oh yeah, all three of us got our nails done together this weekend. And I was like, oh. Okay. I mean, sad that I wasn't invited, but also it's like it's kind of weird to like invite your manager with you, right? Ooh, new enemies! I was honestly blessed to get an axe on our first attempt of the day. That way I can kind of ease myself back into combat. Easy! Overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 or reveal the map. Revealing the map is dumb. I hate it. I will never choose it. Okay, 20% more damage during the day or gain an extra two hearts. I will take the two hearts. Easy? And a tarot card? Holy! Deals poison damage? Dude! I'm getting such good RNG! Oh my god! <laughs> I think the enemies in this world are definitely the scariest looking. Cause I don't mind spiders. But, I remember watching, what was the movie called? Arachnophobia or something? And it was about how, like, the Black Widow spiders were going through the Northwest, or Pacific Northwest, and, like, killing people. And I live in the Pacific Northwest. So, I, I watched the movie when I was, like, eight. And my mom was wondering why I was having nightmares every night. But, nah, I think the only, like, dangerous spider I've seen is a... Brown wolf spider? No, I don't think that's what it's called. But it's like this big ass, two inch, leg span, brown spider. And you can get very sick if it does bite you. Oh wait, did nothing come out? I missed it. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, brown recluse, that's what it's called. Ooh, we can get a new follower if we go here. Ooh, there's a new follower here, too. For free? Let's do this one. We can buy followers. But not Twitch followers, because that's TOS. I would never do that. A free follower, guys? Plus one? Fire spawn follower meat. That means he killed somebody. Ew.
for the first time, I am trying something new. We've talked about, like, credit card debt and just debt in general in the past. And my strat for... Oh, Lee! For managing my credit card is that I will only spend... Um, oh, holy... I will, damn it. I will only spend however much I can repay back in that month. But I'm trying something. I want to try. Oh my god, he has spikes. I want to try something to where I will pay all of it except for $50 worth. Because my credit limit was increased to like $1,500. So I'm like... Hmm, let's try and not pay $50 and see what happens. Because I can pay back next month, obviously. Because, um... What you call it? Because the type of credit card I had was you get interest-free for three years. And then after the three years, they usually give it out to younger people. Um, after three years, then they give you like a 15 to 20% interest based on whatever your current score is. So mine is 15% because my credit score is pretty good. So I just want to see what happens. Your message got automated. What did you say? <laughs> what did you say? I'm curious. <laughs> it didn't even say anything bad. I'm going to read it. I'm going to allow it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even bad, out of mud. I mean, better safe than sorry, right? Anyway, so this month, I'm gonna try and get $50 into debt and see what'll happen. Oh, the reason why I'm $50 in debt, too, is because I, I paid off my card, right? And then, after I paid it off, I applied for my P.O. box, and I had to pay, like, $50 up front. So, <laughs> that's why... The reason why I'm getting a P.O. box is so I can start selling paintings and not have to leak my actual address, because that'd be weird. So I had to pay before. I have. To, I still have to go in and verify. Like, show my ID and stuff at the post office. Because I had to, like, apply to one a few towns away. Because the ones closest to me didn't have any openings. So hopefully this place does, because it's a pretty long bus ride. But yeah, so hopefully by March I'll be able to start, or by April, latest, I'll be able to start selling paintings. Hog you. <clears throat> okay. Hands of Rage. Fire projectile when you swing your weapon. 10 second cooldown. Dude, I'm getting such good tarot cards. Holy. Oh, dude, I hate the projectile weapons. I hate them. Oh, it's the little guy shooting projectiles. Okay. There's like not even an indicator to show that they'll shoot something. It's not fair. Oh no! <laughs> They're like little pods. I don't know if I'll make it out alive. I will try my darndest, though. Oh, dude! Okay, this one. Bane Axe. Chance of poisoning enemies when attacking up six damage, or a godly sword deals significantly more damage than mortal weapons. Okay, they both... Okay, they both have the same damage increase. This one is 0.5 speed. This one is plus 1 speed. And since I already have a tarot card that gave me poison, I'll do the godly sword. Oh my god, hi, potato! Can we get some yo's? Isn't this your favorite game? Or to watch? I don't know. I think last time you were chatting, you were saying you missed a cold to the lamp stream and you were sad. But, hello. So, should I... I don't like how blue these lights are. I'm gonna change them to warm. Is 
does that look better? I feel like it's gonna look like shit anyway, because this time of day I get direct sunlight, so it's gonna look like ass. No importance. See, look, it looks worse! It looks worse! <laughs> It looks bad. I want to like rearrange my room, but then because the setup I had at my parents' house, because I had a similar thing big window, direct sunlight throughout the day. Oh, there's so many rooms. <clears throat> but I had my dresser in front of my window, so then my TV would block the window. But imagine how sad that is, okay? And the room I have is fairly big because I got the master bedroom. Oh, these are curses. Ooh, knocks back and poison enemies. Oh, that's much better. So I don't I don't know how to properly fix my lighting without buying like nice floodlights. Okay, I'm not gonna bust those open until I'm absolutely Oh no. Frick, come on, that's not fair, that's not what I wanted. It's so, like I could rearrange my room to make the natural lighting look better. But then I literally have to block my window. And the thing that I like is that I can get some natural sunlight and it makes me happy. Oh my god, hi Wolf! Can we get some yo's? Wolf, this run has been crazy. I've got a poison tarot card. I got a decent sword. Absolutely cracked run. Also, I'm hope <laughs> I hope I can beat Silk's Cradle today. That is my goal. Oh yeah, can we get some yos for Woob? Did I say that already? Well, <laughs> I am so goddamn tired. Okay, I think I've gotten the mechanic down for these enemies. I just have to get close, dodge, and then dip back. Beating it in one round. I mean, this is the second boss, but this is my first run of the day. And it's been like 15 minutes and I haven't taken too many L's. Okay, except maybe right now. that run a 13 minute run damn it that was such a good run i literally jinxed it oh god damn okay we're warming up we're warming up first run of the day i haven't played in three weeks yeah thank you keelan may peace be in you oh wait wait we did get one follower we did get one follower um, I'm gonna give it to Keelan first, Mac, since they're new to Cold Little Lamb streams, so don't worry, Mac, I'm not gonna skip you. Let's indoctrinate Keelan. Oh, wait, first I gotta jail Kobobo. Don't they? <laughs> wakey, wakey! Time to go to jail! That's where all my haters go. They get blocked and they get jailed. My faith is at zero. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> oh my god, hi Pride. Can we get some yo's? Welcome in. Welcome to the cult, Keelan. May peace be in you. 
Thank you for redeeming the wolf. You are in line. Oh no, Keelan's old. They're gonna fucking die. <laughs> okay. Faith in the lamb is at an all-time low and cannot be endured any longer. You must restore faith in the cult or we will leave in a max exodus. Remember, without a cult, you will surely die. Okay, I know that. I leave for one day and you guys lose your minds. It's almost like if you don't see me, you don't believe in me. Thank you for redeeming pride. You will be put in line. Man, so many of your sacrificers today. <clears throat> oh, I also made banana bread the other day. Wait, I made it yesterday. But the recipe? Okay. I think I'm just like a sugar addict because my sister and my roommates tried it and they were like, it's way too sweet. But when I'm eating it, I'm like, it's not sweet enough. Because I used brown sugar instead of white sugar because when you use brown sugar, it usually gives it more of like a maple -y taste. Um, but it just wasn't fucking sweet. Cause I, I made I made like cupcakes or muffins and then I made like a big loaf. Because I had to use two whole bushes of bananas, so I basically made like a triple recipe. Okay, we're doing all the rituals because my faith is at an all-time low. Isn't that a band? Look at all these dead followers I have. Oh wait, there's there's like literally barely any. We buried them all. Wait, chatters, we're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here and you're watching a sub only stream, what the fuck are you doing? Um, follow the channel, and if you're non-sub lurking, just use your Amazon Prime. Easy clap. Any primers? Also, if you if you give the sub, I will eat a chocolate. And I owe chat nine chocolates to be eaten, so I will be eating them every hour. Or should I do them every 30 minutes? Maybe every 30 minutes, just so I can get them out of the way. Let's do a chocolate now. We'll do them every 30 minutes. Oh shit, why did it freeze? Yo. Because we had a lot of gifted on Valentine's, so I have to make up. Let's see. These smell so good. Okay, one. Now I owe seven. Chatters, keep count. Wait, no. Nine minus one is eight. I owe eight. <laughs> Thank you, Lear. My faith in you was justified. Yeah, technically non-subs can watch a sub-only stream, they just can't chat. But once you reload the page as a non-sub, you can't watch it. It's weird. I don't even understand why... I'm what you going. Why it, it lets non-subs watch. I think that's kind of silly of Twitch to do. Because there's been times where we did like playing with viewer streams that were sub only, but then a non sub would get in because the only time a non sub can't hear is when I run an ad. Because when I run an ad, it mutes the, the video feed, but they can still see. So we had issues with people getting like the, the lobby codes when they weren't supposed to. I think the only real way to avoid that would be. If I ever, which I won't, if I ever made a Discord, and then you can have like a sub-only um, channel 
and then put like lobby codes in there because that's what i've had like streamer friends do like they'll just post it in the discord but i don't have a discord so and i've explained why i don't want to farm the parasocials and i don't want anybody to have direct access to me <clears throat> because um i usually i don't message people Main reason why is because there's like fucking creeps. You don't know who secretly is like a a bad person. So I would say like don't answer random DMs from anybody. I used to do that when I was in like high school. Because I was just like lonely and I wanted somebody to talk to. But I would say just don't answer. Wait, I need demons. Fuck. I forgot demons. I'm gonna die. True, I'm a catfish? I mean, your profile pic looks cute, so probably. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, that was weird. If, if, okay. You know how when you get like a new follower, you just glance at their profile? I feel like everybody does that, right? Right? Oh, I got a dagger. <laughs> That's not good. Wait, daggers might be good for the spiders, because you kind of got to get close to them. Okay, as says so. <laughs> oh, sacrifice health? Uh, I don't really want to do that. I don't really need black hearts. I'd rather just keep my red hearts. Not really? Fuck. I, I guess I'm self-reporting. Okay, the check with this guy, you gotta hit him from above. Wait, does this dagger have poison damage? Oh, it does! Very nice. Easy. You must have thought my PFP was amazing? I don't know. I'm not gonna say what it is, but you know, I think it's kind of basic, not gonna lie. I think if you don't have your actual face as your profile pic online, then you're a little bitch. You know, let people know what you look like. If you're a greasy gamer who never showers and you look like a fucking incel, be proud, okay? Oh no, Wolf has died! Oh no. Can I get some PSI 2 7s for Wolf? But I also can understand the argument of like wanting to be anonymous online. Because there are some fucking weirdos. Okay, valid point. Um, I would say if you're a minor, then probably don't ever show your face. Because there's a lot of very scary people online. Oh my god, fucking stop. Okay, I'm dying. This run is bad. This run is it, this run is cursed. It was doomed from the start. Wait, hold. I still have a good amount of hearts. Oh no, I haven't seen your Twitch profile pic, but I've seen like your TikTok and then Twitter. I don't really look at, um, Twitch profile pics. The only time I really look at profile pics on Twitch is if, like, you say something weird in chat and then I have to pull up your user card to see if you said, like, other sus things. Oh my god, the dagger is so bad. It's so bad. Just end this run. Okay, wait, hold, I have two hearts. Maybe I can pull through? There was nothing in that one. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, maybe I'm correct at dodging now. No, see, it's not that I like the dagger, I just see I hate it. But I think I've gotten better at it. I just don't like seeing a dagger when I could have gotten like a sword or an axe. Okay, gain an extra half a heart or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. 
I think since I have poison on this dagger, I don't really necessarily need to increase my damage because the poison already does a good handful more. So I think I'll gain an extra heart. If I live, it's great. If not, I'm not going to make it anyway. It'd be a miracle if I can survive on this run. Hearts? My goal is to at least get one follower. Can I get a follower? Oh, wait, there's a heart where my- Guys, the run might be saved! Hold your horses. Ooh, and a blue heart. Holy moly. Okay, I have full health. My camera is blocking my TV. <laughs> okay, never mind. This run might actually be good. Any believers think I can beat it this time? Mod check. Oh, I also added some more um, 7 TV emotes. I added like three. Because usually once a week, I'll open 7TV and like see what the trending emote. Ooh, spider silk. I'll see what the top emotes of like the week are. And then I'll add them if I think they're good. Every time you say follower, you, you think I'm talking about Twitch? Yeah, any new Twitch followers, guys? We're very close to 666. Because right now we're at 661. So if we get five followers, then we'll have exactly 666 followers. Scary. Thank you for redeeming Wolf. We'll do that at the end of stream for you. <clears throat> oh. Shamora, for your wisdom, we'll make this offering. Nor of all, in you we seek the answer. Oh, this flower room goes crazy. Look at the lighting. Oh, I took a hit. Oh my god, Dude, it never stops. button is sticky, okay? My pro controller is broken. It's not in the Meg Esports budget. Maybe for my birthday I'll get a new controller. Plus one. No, like, actually, I'm not trolling. My controller's busted, look. You see, look, it pops out. Not li I would never lie. How long have I been doing the broken controller bit? It's been like a year. <laughs> Oopsie. It's just like, it's hard to cough up 60 bucks at once, you know? Okay, don't- I'm not farming, I'm not farming, I'm just saying... It's either... I pay my phone bill or get a new controller. And also, I wish it'd be sick, because I've been watching, like, vlogs and, like, streamers being at Nintendo World, and how- Oh no! How crazy would it be if they sold, like, themed controllers? Because I, I think I watched 
um, extra, I was watching Extra Emily stream the other day, and I was literally so happy watching her stream, right? Because she did an IRL at Nintendo the other day. And I was like, because she was or she was streaming inside the store, so I was like looking at all these shelves. I was like, please be a controller. I was like, please. But they only had like shirts and plushies, so. But dude, what if they had like an exclusive Nintendo World controller? That'd go crazy. Controller is more important than the phone bill. True, nobody calls me. Okay, I'm gonna draw an extra tarot card to see if I'll get hearts. I knew it, plus one blue. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I clicked the wrong thing. I gotta buy one. Your mom calls me? But why, why would I need a... What? That's dumb. Mac, that makes no sense. Why would I need a phone if my mom calls you? That's stupid. Try again. <laughs> Thank you, Mac. I appreciate the compliment. I missed you guys, too, because it's been, what, three days? I was, like, itching to stream, but, like, mentally I couldn't handle it. I also had appointments. Um, oh yeah, I had appointments yesterday and Thursday, so I couldn't have streamed anyway. <laughs> Wait, no, I went on Wednesday, fuck. I, okay. Um, 10% chance to deal a crit or attack rate increased by 1.25. I'll take a crit. I'll take a crit. You should do a 24-hour stream. Oh no, Wolf has died! Oh no. Cox is dissenting too. What the fuck? Um, should I do a 24-hour stream for my birthday? Like, like, legitimately. Who would watch? Because when we did the, um, Christmas Eve stream, like, literally nobody watched past 9 p.m. my time. And when I say nobody, I meant just one person. Because I think we only had Mads in chat, and it was so awkward. Because <laughs> it's been a long time since um, I've had, like, one viewer. It's been a long time since I've been a one viewer Andy, okay? And it's very, like... It's very sad. Because, <laughs> like, even though I average less than 10, usually all of my viewers are chatting, or they say hi and then lurk. So I, I know they're, like, actually watching. So it's very, like, comforting to know, but it was weird having only one person watching, and I was very sad. Oh no, this guy's new. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Just die! That guy was, like, a boss. I've never seen that before. It's good to have at least two people actively chatting. Exactly. It's like fun. Because then it feels like a group chat. Okay, the boss room is right here. 9 p.m. for you is like 5 a.m. Wait, so that means. Holy, that's an eight hour difference? Oh my god. Okay. What would I do for it? Okay, I'll consider it. I'll consider a 24-hour stream for my birthday. But then we need to think of shit to do. We'll discuss it more in April. Like, I'm down. No! Because I think my birthday's on a weekday this year. Oh my god, hi, Crystal! Wait, Crystal's a non-sub. Imagine being a non-sub watching a sub-only stream. Imagine. <laughs> I'm still really mad that VIPs can still chat. SMH. <laughs> I'm trolling. Hi, Crystal. You said you had some drama for us, and then we never got the drama. You've been on your Nancy Drew arc? What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean you're gay arc? Huh? Okay, if I have to go into the boss fight with one goddamn heart... Okay, 
Okay, I'm not looking at chat. I'm focusing. I'm focusing. Oh, like investigating the crush? Ooh. Ooh, drama. Well, you kept streaming while I was at school. Okay, I can't help it. Because, like, my energy is at the highest in the midday. So it's either I stream at 11 to 3 and then I'm, like, hype. Or I stream at 3 to 7 and then I'm dead. Like, actually, D-E-D. -E -D. We can watch you sleep on stream. Oh, that's a hammer. I don't want a hammer. Hmm. This... Dagger does more damage, but this dagger does not have poison. I don't necessarily need more damage now. Okay, everybody. Our first prediction of the day. Everybody, all my gamblers, go gamble. Stream Elements hates me. Use your channel points. Do you think I will beat the boss? I have one and a half hearts. It'll be a miracle if I do. But expect it if I lose. So everybody go gamble, go gamble. I don't think if I ever did a 24 hour stream, I don't think I'd sleep on stream. Cause. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the little guys first. Oh my fucking god. Oh no. Oh no. It. Uh oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even hit him. I mean, frick. Okay, I'm out of a chance. Now let him touch me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Dude, I am gasping at straws. No! Oh no! I could have actually done it. Cause what was nice is that the poison like pools on the ground didn't insta kill you. It just gradually docks your health. Okay, now that I know that that's the boss, I don't feel as scared now. Definitely next run I can do it, next run. I promise. We didn't have any believers. Come on, guys. Okay, bye, Crystal. Any Oilers want to gift Crystal a sub? Any Oilers? Wait, Crystal, you got a fucking gift card. Huh? <laughs> See you next stream. Okay, bye, Crystal. If you want a chance to get a Twitch gift card yourself, all you gotta do is make the best Twitch clips of the month. I'm broke, me too. Wait, Crystal, do you not have enough channel points? Because I can gift you a sub. 
<laughs> Too much effort. Mood. New follower. Wait, Chatters, there's also a channel for redemption. Look, it costs a bit more, but it's called I Gift Somebody Else a Sub. Look. Wowee, so somebody wants to sacrifice 15k. Okay, new follower. Man, we have a lot of redemptions. Okay. Give Dino? Of course. Thank you, Potato. Very kind. Okay, let's do that right now so you can get them back in chat. <laughs> Mod check crystal. Okay, just because I added that channel for redemption doesn't mean you guys abuse it, okay? Oh no, my computer's dead. Oh no. Hold, hold. The laptop. One minute. Everybody hold. It's loading. Okay, it should have gone through by now. It's not loading. I'm refreshing my Twitch. Gotta save your points now. How do you only have 7k points? I mean, well, I guess you've only really been watching for like two weeks, right, Keelan? Because usually it takes about a month to earn 15k. potato for gifting a sub to crystal let's see if they come back <laughs> everybody adds crystal in chat come back but enjoy the gifted sub talking about subscribing um chatters we are an hour into stream so it's time for me to tell you if you're non-sub watching a sub only stream subscribe easy clap you can link amazon prime to your twitch and sub for free with prime click subscribe if you have a prime available you can also use your channel points just like we just did and you can receive a gifted from me cool also if you gift a sub i will eat a chocolate any oilers okay anyway get some water get a snack non-subs get boomed All the white chocolates are gone. And as you guys know, white is good. <laughs> okay, which one do I want? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Guys, I'm a leftist. I would never be serious. Ooh. This one is dark chocolate with caramel. So this means I have seven chocolates left. <laughs> Mods, Ben, Wolf, <laughs> Twitch staff, keep an eye on them. <laughs> How is it? It's good. I can't really see. It's got caramel. 
You know, I like it simple. Chocolate, caramel, good. I don't think we've ever had a bear villager. They're pretty cute. Unlike Mac. <laughs> I'm kidding. Welcome in, Mac. May peace be in you. Eat five chocolates right now. Only if I get five gifted right now. Okay. Or if we get a prime sub. Oh no! I forgot they died. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, wolf. Okay, since Kobobo's already in jail, should I build another jail? Where is it? Oh, right here. It's literally right here. Let's build another one. Lock him up. Oh wait, somebody else died. Oh, Wolf died. <laughs> Go to jail. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta build the jail first. Okay, they're on it. <clears throat> this is new to me? What's new to you? Did I do something? Huh? Oh, the jail. Oh, so the jail function. Um, there was... You can build a jail and then... It'll hold dissenting villagers, and then once a day, you can re-educate them. Because you can talk to them normally, and then re-educate them, but it doesn't increase their faith as much as keeping them in jail would. What did Kobobo do to get in jail? I mean... <gasps> oh no, we still died! Oh, look at Cokes, he's so happy. Here you go to jail, Cokes. Fucking Degen. Okay. I think Coax is a really good chatter, but they also make some sus jokes sometimes. <laughs> Mod check Coax. Titans. Glorious leader. Some elders have been cast from their cult and now seek a place to enjoy their final years. Maybe we should let them join ours? Yes, I love followers. Oh, they, that guy's rotten already. Awkward. Emote only chat! <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Have fun. Um, chatters, type your favorite sub emote in chat, because everybody chatting should be a sub. Okay, let's do some quick sermons. <clears throat> Before the day ends. favorite emote has to be the peace i2 punch or peace i2 spin both are pretty good well, rest in peace mac can we get some sevens in chat for mac man mac keeps on dying and reincarnating themselves <clears throat> me incarnating reincarnating reincarnating I think 
like when I go on the expeditions in Silk Cradle, it takes two days. I think that's why my faith falls so little. Or falls to be so low, I meant. Wait, I just realized the previous run I did, if I left with demons, I would have beat it. Yeah, everybody go on vacation, have fun. Go to the beach. I had a dream the other night, I went to the beach and I drowned. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Look, everybody's on vacation. They're all so happy. Isn't my cult just delightful? Hey, let's indoctrate these new followers. I guess stream elements finally came in the chat. Where were you this past hour? Okay, first we had Wolf. Welcome in, Wolf. Peace I too pray. May peace be within you. <laughs> Can't even remember my own catchphrase. Oh, look, you're old. <laughs> Oh, there's only one? We only got plus one follower? Cringe. Imagine only getting one follower, guys. Okay, what I think is even worse, imagine getting a tweet with no likes. Oh my god, that's so cringe. Because just in general, I think Twitter is definitely a platform where it feels like you're talking into a void, right? But when you get zero likes, oof. I remember those days getting zero likes. But I think on Twitter, are you able to like privatize your likes? Wait, you guys can't even answer. <laughs> Lomao. I think your likes are public, right? Okay, answer my question when you guys can type again. Because I know I... I'm pretty, like, sparing with my likes on Twitter. If I know it's like a temp post, then I'll like it. Like, if somebody's doing, like, a go-live tweet, then I'll like it. But I only like shit if it's funny. Or if it's, like, somebody sad posting sometimes. Wait, I need demons? Has it been five minutes? Oh, it has been five minutes. You guys can talk now. Have fun. Welcome in. I love how Kim redeemed and then they didn't type at all in chat. <laughs> You can't privatize your likes on Twitter? Uh-oh. Okay, well, I don't look at C-O-R-N on Twitter, okay? You save that for your iPad. I'm at the gym. <laughs> I call you out and you type, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Calling out lurkers is so bad. Cancel me. Wait, you guys can't clip it. Adam. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, I'm gonna go back to hiding. Okay, have fun, Kim. Have fun working out, getting swole. <laughs> streamer TikTok and streamer Twitter is the worst, guys. If you want some good entertainment, just look at the small streamer Twitch tags. It's crazy. There's so much drama and infighting. <laughs> mm, 
Give me what. Okay, let's go again. Surely I can beat it this time now that I know the boss is fairly easy. I think Wolf said, and I quote, this is one of the quotation mark easy bosses. You couldn't figure out what the tweet was earlier? Oh, it was etched in the cement. Oh, wanna get a hammer? Also, cause like, Twitter ruins your image quality. I saw that when I was like, out doing errands a few weeks ago. And it said, carved into the sidewalk, Megan is a god. And... This is gonna be so bad. If you don't know, Megan is my real name. My real name is not PSIN17. Oh, can I just end here? Yeah, it was crazy, cause like... I thought that was your name. <laughs> Didn't imagine. Did you not carve it? No, I'm not fucking... That's illegal! Is it illegal? I feel like you can get in trouble for that. But that was just there. And it was in some shopping complex, so that must have been there like for years. You guys are so dumb. You guys are so dumb. Stop it. The bit is so dumb. <laughs> I blame you. It's not my fault. Like, like I said, I didn't grow up in this town, so how could it have been me? You think little 10-year-old Megan somehow got onto the bus? <gasps> what? It changed directions. Oh my god, <laughs> the spiders, they, they're so scary the way they move. But I, I was saving that tweet for a rainy day. I was saving it for when I had no content. Which is all the time. <laughs> Easy. You've never seen something written in concrete? I see it all the time. I usually see like hearts and stuff. But like in my area, they're always like, it seems like they're always doing fucking construction somewhere in town. Which is, Wait, what, what? Which is good, because, you know, our tax dollars going to, like, infrastructure, yay. But then it also sucks, because I can't use the sidewalk, or you can't go on certain roads. Like, I think in the past five years- oh, shit. In the past five years alone, they, like, removed and added a new bridge. They, like, had to- they added two lanes to a road. They did some massive infrastructure in like the past three years in my hometown. And I remember when, um, what? Oh wait, oh no, I'm scared. I'm stuck, oh, what? No. Screw this guy. Okay, I, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. It's just, give up already. Wow, he killed me. Is your town an Animal Crossing or what? It could be. My hometown is actually pretty cute. It, it's not like a little town, but it's not like a big town. It's like a weird in between. Because I think my high school, because we had 12th, 11th, and 10th, we had like a total of nearly like 2,000 kids. So that means each class had about um, six to 800 kids. Because, like, I hear stories of people only having, like, a hundred kids in their class graduating, and that, to me, is insane. I can't imagine living in a town that small. I knew you could do it! You truly are divine! Anyway, so, like, people were complaining all the time about, like, oh, why are they taking down the bridge? Why are they adding lanes to these roads? But now, like, 
two years after the construction is done, it's made, like, traffic so much better. And that's what fucking dumb people don't understand about <laughs> infrastructure, is that, yes, it's an inconvenience for a little while, but ultimately it's meant to make your daily operations easier. And it's meant to accommodate more people moving into, your, like, your living area. Like... <laughs> Like, that's just the, dem I guess, demerit to innovation. <gasps> oh no! Keelan has died! Everybody, peace out to seven, Keelan. Oh wait, I just remembered, when your town is on vacation, your faith doesn't lower. Let's get some more demons and go on another run. Hopefully, I don't get another hammer. <laughs> Didn't even last an hour. <laughs> Lol. I mean, you just had bad RNG. You spawned as an old person. What? Wait, they're dissenting. I forgot. I have to re-educate them first. since cooking for myself more is that going out to eat is insanely overpriced because like even when you buy things from like the grocery store you're still gonna be spending like a good handful of change or bucks not change <laughs> back in my day bread was a nickel <laughs> but like when they're charging you like ten dollars for a six piece like chicken nugget or something or like a chicken tender you could buy a whole bag of chicken tenders frozen for like ten bucks and that's like one to two pounds so it's like the only thing you're paying for when you go out to eat is the convenience and like the flavor profile because every restaurant has like a different recipe right like it's gonna be very hard to mimic a mcdonald's hamburger at home Because, like, I think the most cost-effective meal that still feels like actual food is soup. I made some banger soups. The other day I made a clown chowder. And my sister, when I asked her how the food is, because whenever I ask her, she says, she always says, it's okay. Bad response. But when I asked her, like, oh, how was the clam chowder? She was like, it was really good. And I was like, <gasps> I felt really good. I was like, Damn. Because what it said to do was, it said as you're browning the onions, you're supposed to cook it in the, um, in the clam juice. That way it kind of brings out the flavor a little bit more, and it was really good. And it said to boil the vegetables in water, but I boiled it in, um, chicken broth. That way it just was more flavorful. Granted, when you buy, like, chicken stock- Oh, frick. Or chicken stock, it does have a bit more sodium. But, you know. Making stuff from scratch is still healthier than getting, like, a Campbell's soup from the can. Okay, it's been a while since I've used this weapon. Bear with me. Clam scare you? They're not that bad. You've never seen clam chowder? <laughs> Just Google that shit. How does one never see clam chowder? <laughs> Did you not watch the hit Cartoon Network show sh uh, Chowder? <laughs> Dude, I cannot talk.
Yeah, so she said my soup was really good. Okay, this run is not going good. I'm getting careless. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh, I think it's because with this weapon, you're encouraged to spam. And with this type of, like, playstyle with the spiders, you can't spam hit. You have to, like, hit and then dodge. There you go. <laughs> no clipping? <laughs> The only person who can clip Saboli streams are mods. So one day, if you are blessed to receive mod, then you can clip. But I'm only gonna give people mod when I can afford to pay them. Which- oh shit, I was just standing in one spot spamming. I'm so DOM. Oh, I deal you. And honestly, my chat room isn't quick enough to need a moderator. Cause like, a thing you'll see a lot with small streamers is... They'll gain like 5 viewers, and then they will trust those 5 viewers, and then they'll mod a few of them. So then their whole chat room, theoretically, looks like it's filled with mods. And then that's scary. Oh my god, stop! Okay. I'll bully you for free? Hey, yo. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> so I think seeing like non mods in chat isn't as scary, right? I didn't know any mods got paid. Well, it's unconventional to pay moderators. I think it's fair, because if you think about it, um,. Like, in a professional livestream, they probably pay people to moderate the chat, so why should somebody who makes significant income from streaming not compensate their moderators? Because... I think it's the right thing to do. And... Obviously, you can't pay them, like, a full-time wage as a streamer, because... You, the streamer, aren't probably making a full-time wage, as evident by people's ad incentives like i've seen people who average like one like a hundred viewers right and they're a partner streamer and then literally their ad incentive is only like a hundred dollars it's insane how much the ad um cpm like not cpm how much like streamers get paid to run ads when how disruptive they are so um Wait, did I die? I did. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. That run was so bad. I think that weapon wasn't it. I think I can work with a dagger, but for that, like, claw weapon, it's not gonna work. Um. So I told myself, if anybody's gonna be working under me, so that could be, like, an editor, a social media manager, or, like, moderators, I think they should be compensated. Because a mod's job is to, like, watch the chat room and make sure there's no fucking weirdos, okay? Because obviously when you get to a point as a streamer to where your audience is big enough to where you can't necessarily moderate the chat room yourself because you, as a streamer, you're focused on, like, entertaining. Um, so, like, if somebody is averaging, like, a thousand viewers, they can't necessarily have their eyes on the chat the whole time. So it makes sense why you should have moderators. But I think if it's a part of the process, and there's like an, an actual person doing it, I think they should be compensated to some level. Um, the gauntlets are inconsistent with damage. Yeah, I feel like some of the like enemy RNG for the crusades are like, there's usually like either a crazy amount of high level enemies and then other times where there's like just really easy peasy ones. So I don't know. I think it's all just luck. Um, what was I saying? Oh. Um, many of us have managed to save some spare coin to show our gratitude wish to donate it to you and the cult. Perform the enrichment ritual. Okay.
because I was thinking about this the other day, but like all businesses, okay, this is gonna be fucking lived up Andy. All businesses under capitalism are inherently exploitative, right? And because ultimately, you know, you make a dime while the boss makes a dollar, right? But I think if I ever have a company or anything like that, or have anybody working under me, I would make sure to pay them competitive wages in the sense of I will never pay somebody minimum if they are working for me. Um, I will give them like industry standard wages. Like I told myself, if I ever get an editor, I think industry standard for like an experienced editor is like 30 an hour. So I'd probably offer like 20, 25. So it's like, I don't want to feel or make my workers feel like they're not being compensated appropriately. Because if you theoretically can ha can afford to have people work under you, why not compensate them properly? Because they're going to work harder, they're going to feel appreciated, they'll probably stay with you longer because they understand that you give them an adequate wage. But this is me talking when I don't have the means. And I think it's important to like keep your morality consistent no matter um, if you have no money or if you have lots of money. As long as your actions demonstrate that you still will hold those values, I think that's important. Queen, thank you. Okay, I have nothing that will increase my faith. Oh, that one does, but only 10. I think a big reason why I think the way I do is that when you work in an environment to where you are exploited to an extreme extent, you don't want other people to experience it. And I think that's why a lot of people have to live it to understand it. But if you're able to be empathetic and kind of feel how you would think other people would feel, then I think that shows that you're a good person. I don't know. I don't oh why are those plants glitching out this the matrix because <laughs> I think in order to be a good person it comes down to like outward perspective of you and then also how you view yourself I think granted there are some things that one can do that is like generally agreed to be bad, like crimes. But obviously some things are redeemable because there's no such thing as a perfect person, but as long as you yourself understand that what you are doing is in good faith, not religious faith, but like faith and like intent. I think it's okay. Because, like, looking back, I know, like, how I conduct myself. Like, I'm very blunt. I could have, like, said things nicer to certain people. But then I also acknowledge to... I also know that I can change for the better. I've been, like, thinking about what monologue I want to write for my next painting video. I haven't painted in a few weeks because my hands haven't been as, like, manipulative. So it's harder to paint. Like, I've tried... Ooh, a club? Ooh, Bane Sword, okay. Because, like, when you paint or when you draw, you, it's like fine border function, so it's very difficult to do for long periods of time. So that's why I haven't made a new painting yet. Hopefully, by March, I'll feel a bit better. But I'm trying to think of, like, a good. Oh, there's a block. Because all of my speed painting videos, I want all the topics to have some sort of, like, Deeper message, right? Okay, the range on the sword is ass. It does deal poison damage, though. Because, like, I think I want to make the next monologue about self-worth. But I also have to tackle it in a way. Come on, this guy.
Because, like, I don't want to be, like, farming Sanchez all the time. Because <laughs> I feel like the- if you don't know what we're talking about, or what I'm talking about, let's see if it'll work. It won't work. If you follow Peace in Art on TikTok, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But I think the the way I write them, I want them to be philo philosophical in the sense of like it'll force you to kind of think and evaluate your own perspective. But I don't want them to be. Oh my god! I don't want them to be like too hyper focused on my lived experience. Holy moly! I'm at one art. Maybe I should focus on playing the goddamn game instead of talking, huh? I got stuck behind the rocks. <laughs> Dude, a two minute run. Um, chat, is we're an hour 30 in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And maybe if you're already following and you're watching, maybe sub with Prime, easy. <laughs> oh, Megalo. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's chocolate time. Wait, how many sugar is in here? Okay, serving size is three pieces. It has 29% sugar. Okay, so that means I should only have three a day. This is my last chocolate of the day. What's this one? That one. That means I owe chat six. That one was dark chocolate with hazelnut. Nice. Like, honestly, the Valentine's advice stream, I know I almost cried. I got very close, but it made me, like, think about things that I've experienced. And not that I've experienced anything bad, but it just made me realize how, like, there are bad people out there. And... I think the thing that, like, stuck with me the most, like, my personal advice that I wanted to add was that, like, if somebody, like, physically hurts you, then that's not okay and you shouldn't deal with it. But, like, I seriously thought, and I don't know if I could get myself out of that situation if it were to happen to me. Because, like, obviously with people there are some red flags that you can see, but sometimes red flags don't necessarily come up right away. And it's like, I always told myself if I ever was in an unsafe situation, I would get out of it, but it's not that easy, and I think people fail to realize that. I think that's like the main reason why I haven't like dated or pursued anyone in the past, what, three fucking years? Cause like, I'm kinda scared. Because it's like, I don't want to be traumatized, you know? So it's, it's kind of like, if I avoid that situation, then I'm good. But then it's also like, I kind of want to have someone care for me. Like, it's, it's, it's this weird, like, dynamic that I'm still trying to, like, accept. But then it's like, how do you also find somebody? Like, I don't go to traditional school, I can't date anybody online because that's gross. 
So I was like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm fine with being on my own, but... That was kind of sad. But also, I don't want to get married, because that's cringe. <laughs> Everything is cringe. The days are dragging and blurring together. We need inspiration. Please enlighten us. And I think a lot of people... Tinder? Ew. I don't like casual. I don't, Cause like, in order for me to like somebody, I have to like, know them. Like, I'm, I'm very much like... I genuinely feel like I could like anybody once I get to know them. I've never even like, downloaded a dating app. I mean, it'd probably be- it would probably be easier now since like, I live in my own space. Like, I'm not at my parents' house. But I don't know. I know that Tinder does have the stigma for like, casual hookups, but... I know that people do find real love. I don't have enough bones? I don't have any bones! But then it also becomes like, I don't want to pursue anybody just because I want to feel cared for. Because I don't think that's right either. Call me cringe, but I kind of believe in fate, okay? I believe that if somebody is meant to be in my life, then they'll come along. I think if you actively pursue something, then you'll never actually find it. Unless it's like a college degree. You should actually finish your degrees, kiddos. I should talk about something else, because I shouldn't be rambling too much. Awkward. <laughs> what if I dated a fan like all the other Minecraft streamers? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do it. Dude, this honestly is so gross. Like, I don't... What is the appeal? I don't get it. What is your sign? I'm a Tauros. Born in April. Hey, that room was horrible. That's why we saw your stream. We are just meant to be. You we can't stop. <laughs> just trying to be cringe. Oh, good job, Potato. <laughs> I think fate brought us together because we're supposed to be friends. I am friend zoning everybody in the chat right now. Don't even try. Okay, overall weapon damage increased by 1.2 or 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll take a crit. Damn, I was trying. I mean, I would die if I had a GF, like, seriously. But I think it also, because, like, okay, reveal the map or chance to drop a fish. I'll take the fish. Oh, did somebody die? Oh, no, we're good. No, I would never. I don't even, like, fucking talk to people. I don't even, like... I feel like a mistake that a lot of smaller streamers make is that they'll let viewers DM them or message them, like, casually. Oh my god, stop! And I feel like... You need to have yourself be inaccessible to some extent. Because if you make yourself too... Oh my god! If you make yourself too easy to be in contact with, then it's gonna create these weird, blurred lines for what is okay and what not, what's not okay. 
Because, like, obviously, when you're DMing somebody, it's very easy to, like, overshare. Because, like, d messaging someone directly is a very, like, intimate thing. So it's, like... And I don't think it's fair to give any specific viewer special treatment. It's different if they're, like, a mod because there's someone who would, like, kind of have to know you. Has any viewer tried to message you casually? No. The only DMs I've gotten from viewers were just people, like, asking questions, which is fine. I usually will just answer them, but I don't think anybody has skirted the lines. I think it's because I talk very clearly about why I don't allow DMs, and I feel like most everybody has respected that boundary. Which is good! That means we don't have any fucking weirdos. Um, but it's also because I don't allow it to happen. Like, I know if anybody did try to, like, skirt that line, I would, like, shut it down. But then it's also like, how would I shut it down? Best chat, who obviously you guys. Um. Because, like, hmm. <laughs> I'm, in fact, her favorite viewer. Okay, can I be honest? I think my favorite viewer has to be... No, I'm... <laughs> I'm not gonna say a name. That's not nice. I was gonna say, I think the best viewers have always gotta be the lurkers. You know, they don't need the chat. They don't need your attention. They're just, they're having fun. Now, if we're talking about the best chatter... Hmm... Best chatter. Okay, I'm actually charting. Sorry, I'm not stalling to, like, not answer. I'm focusing. <laughs> I'm going with dad. Mom is picking. In that scenario, am I your mom, huh? <laughs> hmm. I think my most recent favorite chatter that they is Mads. Mads only chatted in like two streams. They said they're like a regular lurker, but their chat style is so good. Cause like if somebody why are there lanterns there? I think that might be the end. Wait, there's lanterns here too. Fuck. Um Ooh, lore? Am I supposed to chop this tree? disease tart because like if somebody comes into the chat and they're like automatically funny don't need your direct attention they aren't too much of a parasocial andy those are good chatters i feel like most of you guys are kind of in that realm but also a lot of you guys have been here for a while so if somebody comes out the gate understanding that dynamic good chatter like if somebody's just here to have fun good chatter Oh, stop! I hate this guy! Stop! Wait, dodge? Okay, that wasn't that bad. I don't know who Mads is. Yeah, they've only chatted in like two streams. Um, they were here for basically all of the Christmas Eve stream, I think. My favorite is Kobobo. Oh. It's so cute when you guys hit on each other. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Gobo Boy is a good chatter, though. Like, I do harp. I. Okay. I do give the new people a lot of attention. And I feel like I neglect some of the old chatters. Cough, cough, Kobobo and Mag. But I appreciate you all. It's just, with the new guys, we gotta hook them in. We gotta get them, like, addicted, okay? My favorite is me? No, I can't say you're my favorite, Keelan. You're too new. You're too new. Like I said, we gotta feel people out for a month. Okay, should I get more followers? Hmm. Okay, either way... Each of the routes have one combat area. 
So let's get a free follower and then keep going. Eighteen coins? I'm getting scammed. At least they're not fucking old. <sighs> no VIPs are here? <laughs> well, that's because the only people who would get VIP will be friends of the channel. And then also people who win the tournaments. Any Mario Kart sweats want to get a badge? Oh yeah, and best clipper. Which Kobobo you had for three months in a row and then you fell off. Oh my god, stop. <gasps> Woof has died! Oh no. Can we get some PSA 27s for Woof? Is there one more? Don't they? Oh, I uh. Easy. I mean, don't feel like you need to win if you play in the tournaments. It's all about having fun. Because I've never won a tournament. a bit since I've even placed top three. Okay, but legitimately, I actually think if I wasn't streaming the tournament, like, if I was just playing on my own, I think I could actually win. Because, like, when you're streaming, you have to think about, like, your chat room. You have to think about, like, is my computer running? So if I were to race one time and not focus on stream, I think I could actually place... You're sad that you haven't been able to watch Amori? I mean, bonds are published. I think... I like doing the story games on stream, but I can understand why a lot of people don't watch those streams. Because, like, it's kind of hard to, like, jump into a story if you don't know what's going on. If you haven't, like, played the game yourself. I think the main appeal to story games is for people who have played themselves. That way they kind of know what's happening. And then you get to see somebody else experience it for the first time. I think that's the biggest appeal. I got too close. Hopefully you do the new Zelda game? No. I don't like puzzle games. They make me look D.U.M. But then imagine how many big brain jokes I could make. <laughs> Wait, I have a dagger right now, don't I? Okay, when slaying a foe, chance to summon a ghost that'll attack nearby enemies, minus one speed or up 2.5. Chance of poisoning enemies. I will t Wait, what do I have? Oh, I had a crit? I have a dagger. I'll take the Bane Sword. We can help you only if you want us to. I feel like it would be difficult for you guys to watch as well. And I don't want to actually torture you guys. Stop! Oh my god. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Dude, how did I live? <gasps> Mario was difficult to watch but entertaining. Guys, I'm disabled. You can't be mean. <laughs> and my controller is broken. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
Oh, I'm gonna die. Absolutely no fucking way I live. See, the runs aren't even like super long. It's 10 minutes, but it feels like forever. I think it's because there's so many enemies in each room. Because every time you kill all the fucking spiders, like three more spawn. Did you get Wii music? No. I did- oh, oh yeah, I changed that for my schedule category because I just wanted to put a Wii game. I guess I could put no category. I've always wanted to play Wii music though. I do want to see if I can get a bunch of Wii games secondhand though. Like from a pawn shop or something. Because I have like four more games that I haven't played yet on stream. So I'll we'll have a good handle. Garage sale? Oh no, I ain't going to no more garage sales. Because all they have is junk. The only thing good I've gotten from a garage sale is some black frames that I haven't used because I'm too scared to use them. And then whenever I go to a garage sale and I see that they have like a lot of things, I get sad because I can only assume that they're like a hoarder. Because my parents were kind of hoarders. And then I get sad. Oh, I don't have enough bones! No, oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, we're gonna hypnotize everybody. They're all gonna get sick and die. GG's. I'd rather go to Goodwill. Honestly, me too. Because at least, like, when you go to, like, secondhand stores, everything is, like, organized neatly. Because, like, go- Dude, I hate going through garage sales and you have to, like, dig through bins. I'm a germaphobe. No, oh, they're dead. <laughs> Damn, this graveyard is filling up. Why are so many people dying? Will is wild enough with their prices, though. I usually will not spend more than like ten dollars on a clothing item if I'm getting it from Goodwill. I think the best thing I've ever gotten from Goodwill was like, you know that? Um, I'll grab it in a second when I run the ad. But I have this green top that I think is beautiful. That was like twelve dollars, I think. Oh my god, I can't, I can't. Why isn't this lining up? I, I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, I can't. Because, like, Goodwill is either, uh, is either hit or miss. You're either gonna find dog shit, like really cringe graphic tees, or maybe you'll find, like, a nice dress. It's all set prices for every item, really? In my area, it's like, oh, $2 to $20, depending on what it is. There's no, like, set price per item. The only promo they have is, like, I think it's Mondays. They have, like, a discount color tag or something. They used to offer a student discount, too, so I used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a college city. Or I'm a college <laughs> student. And I would get, like, a 10%. And then they used to offer a teacher's discount because my mom, she works for the school. So my mom would be like, yeah, I work. I work for the school district. So she would get a discount, but they don't offer it anymore. So I'm getting scammed. 
And you know, I can't bring my dad anymore because he was a vet, so he'd be like, I'm a veteran. Because, <laughs> like, anytime he goes to any register, he's like, Do you guys have a veteran's discount? They have a senior discount? Well, obviously, I can't get that one. You silly. <laughs> I'm not that old. Oh, did everybody shitting their brains out? Oh, wait, we have a new follower. I didn't even see. Oh, they have a nose piercing. Cool. Okay, who's next in line? Pride. Oh, shit. How big is the line? Huh. Um, we only got two more people, Wolf and then Potato. I would get through the line sooner, but I keep on taking L's in the crusade, so blame me, honestly. Wait, I gotta make food? And then we can get ready for another run. Chatters, you know what time it is. Um, non-subs get boomed. Why are you watching a sub-only stream, you silly billy? Subscribe. Just five bucks. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime available. Look how good the lighting is now. Or there's still a cast shadow here, but it's better than earlier. Um, after the ad, we'll keep playing. How long should I stream for today? It's been two hours. I want to at least beat this one boss today. That is my goal. Get a, get some water, get a snack. We'll get, some, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Stream all day, imagine. I mean, I could actually, because I got all my shit done. I did do dinner prep this morning. Um, And since subscriber-only streams don't affect my average viewership, I literally could. Let me grab those things I was talking about. Yeah, so this was the green top. I've worn this before, but it's like tighter on the waist and the sleeves are puffy. And then, so this was, I think, $12. And then also this red dress, it's inside out because it's drying. The one that has like the glitter panels that I wore for, it was the Valentine quiz stream, but this one, I think I got for 20 which is a bit much, but for this, for $20, not bad, honestly. What was for dinner? I made soup. I made, it was similar base to the clam chowder I made, but instead of putting clams, I put sausage and then bacon. Really good. Cause like I've started making dinner and meal prep in the mornings. Cause like I wake up at like five or six every morning anyway. So it's like, do I lay in bed for two hours until eight o'clock or? Should I just cook in the morning? So I've started like meal prepping in the morning. Cause like I usually have more, more energy in the morning anyway. And like it gets very hot in the kitchen. So it sucks when you're like 
freshly clean, freshly showered, and then you go cook and then you get all sweaty. So usually any time that I do meal prep in the morning, I just wash up right after. Because, like, I hate being dirty. I hate being sweaty. Ooh, a sword! What's my favorite type of milk? I was gonna say something very bad. <laughs> oh, wait, it's some only you guys can't clip. I was gonna say your mom's. <laughs> Oh my god, chill. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> so bad. Wait, who did the seeker command earlier? <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, oh, my favorite type of milk? I love almond milk. I agree, chocolate almond is pretty solid. But that's because it's filled with sugar. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm getting punishment for that joke I made. Was it even a joke? <laughs> Did anybody laugh? <laughs> I can't. Oh, stop with these two. Wait, I dodged. Oh, damn it. I almost had it. Oh, shit. I gotta be above. Ooh, dodge? Okay. Okay. JK, I left? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm a little degen, but I usually hold back for stream. Because I get scared. Because once you put something on the internet, you can't take it back. Okay, curses consume 25% less fervor, or enemies will drop two times more fervor. All two consumes less. Because the only time I really use curses is in the boss rooms. But I surely will make it that far this time. Ooh, immune to poison, or increases chance to spawn better chests. Immune to poison will go crazy. Since I am going to make it to the final boss room, being immune to poison? Game changing. Okay, I'm going to try to not- Oh no! That's why the things burst. Just because my- Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> oh no. I didn't realize I only had two hearts <laughs> Uh, the reason why the cocoons burst early is because since my demons shoot projectiles, they're shooting the cocoons. Okay. Dude, three minute run, new PB. Guys, it's four o'clock. <laughs> this is usually my crash time. Also, if you aren't sacrificed today, I'll refund your points, so don't worry about it. I would never scam. Nuh uh. Okay, instead of doing projectiles, maybe I'll do melee attack enemy. It's 12 a.m. for you? Holy moly. It's 4 p.m. for you, Kim? Wait, I literally was gonna say, I think I only have like one or two viewers who are in, in my time zone. I guess Kim is one of them, Pog you. Okay, let's go again. Surely I'll beat it this time. Crying live on stream if I don't beat the game.
No damage run, baby! Okay, no talking unless... Or I can't talk. You guys can talk. No talking until I, do, I empty out a room. I could have had a damageless run. Being able to work with co-workers who are friends is great. God damn it, no talking. me it's because he would blink white whenever the spikes will pop out but it just it just didn't click for me it didn't click okay actually no talking this run yeah i like i want to do well i want to beat the game it's taking way too long should i go to easy mode again <laughs> What's my favorite type of cheese? I like Munster a lot. Provolone is pretty solid too. But if I can like chop up and cube like cheddar, I'll just eat that up. Okay, let's go again. You know what my most popular clip on YouTube is? I think it's me talking about my favorite type of goddamn cheese. On my clips channel, I think that's the most popular video I have. It's like 6,000 views or some shit. And it's just me talking about cheese for like 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I talk about all the time how I, I want my streams to have substance or whatever clip I repost, I want them to have some type of meaning behind it. And my most popular clip is about fucking cheese. <laughs> oh wait, why did those burst? I think the, the main issue with this world is that when the enemies spawn, not all of them will spawn at once. 
Because the spiders will spawn in waves, essentially. So having your demons isn't very helpful. Like, they can't necessarily take out a lot of enemies in the background as you fight enemies one-on-one. -on -one because just less of them spawn. At the same time. I think that is the reason why I'm not doing well. Because you can't rely on your demons too much. a room up here. Okay, fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room or 20% more damage during the day. The only time I use my fervor is in a boss room, so we don't need that. Let's do 20% more damage. Receive double health when healing or fire projectile when you swing your weapon. 10 second cooldown. Let's receive double health. That'll be helpful in the long run. I'm sorry, I was looking at an email. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> okay, I've learned how to dodge it finally. I only have. Wait, I have one and a half hearts? Easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Dude, how am I gonna make it? Cause like, okay. My main phone, it has like an LED that'll blink whenever you get an email, but on my new phone that I use for social media, um, it doesn't blink. That's a main reason why I haven't like switched everything to my new phone. Because I hate Okay, you ever check your phone and you're like waiting for it from a text from somebody? And then you don't get the notification, and you're just like checking your phone. Uh, <laughs> it's so bad, it's so cringe. Um, but like, I know once I transfer all my information to the new phone, I won't have the LED. So it's like, I don't want to like be checking the phone, like tapping the screen on, because I, I feel like that's so sad. It also feels so clingy, and I don't like it. Okay, let's see. Honestly... Hmm. None of these paths are good paths. Let's go to the path where you might be able to buy a follower. Plus one, possibly. Yeah, so that's why, like, whenever I get an email, I will see immediately because it has the LED on my phone. I'm like, oh, I gotta check it. Oh my god. Oh, there's no way. There's no fucking way. Wait, hold. Unless... 
Oh, heart! Oh, I live. Oh, come on, I was blessed. Because, like, since I have Twitter on my new phone, whenever I'm DMs, DMing somebody on Twitter, like, I have to, like, tap the phone screen on to see if I have a new notification. And I just, if I get, like, so attached to checking my phone, and I know that's bad. So, like, anything that I used to, like, communicate with people, I'll usually have in my old phone. Because that way, I, I usually get my phone plugged in. Because it'll have, like, different colors when it's charging and stuff, right? So that way, instead of, like, grabbing my phone and turning it on, I could just glance over and see. Oh, do I have an email? No, I'm good. Because, like, I have this weird, subtle anxiety of, like, missing a text message or an email. Because I'm always so scared that, like, something bad has happened. Because, like, the one time, the literally one time... Where I got, like, a text message and I didn't answer it immediately. It was, like, my mom saying she got into an accident. So after that, I've just been, like, super paranoid all the time. And then I also have, like, this fear to where if I don't reply back to somebody instantly... Because, like, okay, you ever see those videos of people showing like text logs and then the like in the next scene it's like and that was the last text i ever received from them like i'm so scared that that's gonna happen to me one day because it obviously is like you're obviously gonna like lose people in your life and i get so scared i think that's also why i try to be as nice as i can because I don't want somebody to, like, have a bad impression and that be, like, the last thing they think about, you know? Like, I can't imagine... Like, talking with a love interest or, like, a friend and we're fighting and then they're just gone. That That's, like, so sad for me to think about. Anyway, let's talk about happy shit. <laughs> oh my god, hi, Emmy. Can we get some peace out to yours for Emmy? Hello. Oh wait, chatters were saying, bot check, where are the VIPs? Guys, look, there finally is one. I am you. My look turned into a nap. <laughs> well, welcome back, Wolf. Hope you slept well. I mean, honestly, the music in the game is kind of nice. Like, I don't think I can fall asleep to it, but it's very calming. Well, I just realized my faith is locked. So that was pointless. Have you beaten the boss yet? I was stalling so long. It's not a matter of beating the boss, it's an issue of getting to the fucking boss. <gasps> Psst. The leader, rumor has it that Hetra is a spy sent by an enemy cult to undermine your great power. You should go speak with them and see what they have to say for themselves. Huh. Okay, who's Het Hetra? Kianas. 
Oh, the outhouse is overflowing. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, I cleaned the bathrooms today. Can I get some drinks in chat for me? <laughs> okay, honestly, I only clean them because a friend is coming over. <laughs> Not saying that I don't clean them normally, I usually clean them every other week. But, you know, you gotta make the house look nice when people are coming over. <laughs> Okay, let's go again. Surely I'll beat it this time. I think I can do it. I have 40 minutes. Wait, Chatters, it's 4.20 p.m. Smoge. Do I have Smoge enabled? I don't think so. Because I don't like smoking. And I don't want my chat to smoke. Yeah, I don't have Smoge enabled. I was like talking to my friends because you were talking about my condition and shit, right? And one of my friends, they're like, why don't you just smoke weed? Because <laughs> like, it's, it's not that I experience pain, it's just numbness. So it's like, there's not a lot of medication that will heal or minimize the effects of numbness. And weed obviously won't. Because like, oh my god. Dude, what is wrong? <laughs> it is the dagger. I need to get used to the dagger mechanics again. There we go. The blue heart. Because, like, I think the best way to describe what I feel is... Wait, let me pause. Oh, there's the bad boss. Okay. Essentially, what I feel throughout the day is... You know how when somebody grabs your arm? And you can, like, picture this. You can feel the sensation of them grabbing you and then when they let go you can still kind of feel it like it's not obviously as intense as when they're gripping you but when they let go you can still kind of feel that pressure and then it goes away after like 10 seconds but for me it essentially feels like the the feeling of when they grab and then they let go i feel that kind of like tenseness all the time so it's not that it necessarily hurts it's just very distracting. It's very hard to, like, not focus on it. Oh my god! Stop! So, like, I don't think... Or, honestly, American healthcare system, they would obviously give you fucking opiates. Because, <laughs> you know, the big doc makes money when they give you drugs. Let's try this. Have you ever smoked before? No. I'm 23, so Twitch I'm legal. But no, I've never. A single red heart was sacrificed. Weapon- No, I thought it would give me a diseased heart. Fuck. Weapon damage was increased? That was bullshit, dude. I wasted a heart. Uh, it's also because like I was asthmatic when I was a kid. And I do show some symptoms now, but it's obviously not as severe as when I was younger. So it's like, I don't want to like trigger anything respiratory wise if I smoke. I know there's like, um, okay, I don't know the difference, but like THC or CBD, one of the two, where you don't necessarily need to smoke it. And I, I could try that, but I, I don't want to try it unless my doctor recommends it. And. I live in Washington State, and you, you can get, like, a medical green card, but your insurance still won't cover the cost of, like, buying whatever weed you consume. So that would obviously pose a problem. Oh my god, die! Sorry, I got mad. So, like, I would have to pay for it myself, and I don't... It'd be kind of hard to justify, like, fitting that into my budget if I don't know if it'll work. I, it's something I have to talk about with my doctor, still. Okay, 10% chance of getting a blue heart, or... One attack, 10% chance of getting damage. I'll do any getting damage. I would never do drugs, smoke, or drink. I don't like the smell. That's kind of how I am, too. I don't like the smell. 
And like, I've been with people who have smoked or taken edibles, and it's like, not gonna lie, it's fun to watch them experience it, but I don't know if it's for me. Um, curses consume 25% less fervor or deal poison damage. Deals poison damage, baby. Obviously, I don't judge anybody who does choose to do so. Obviously, if you're of legal age and it's legal in your area, go for it. You know, have a little bit of fun. But it's just not for me, I don't think. I mean, if the doc recommends it, then I'll try it. But otherwise, I probably won't. Cause like I was on the fence because I was like if I can get a green like medical card and then maybe if my insurance will cover the cost then maybe I'll try it but I looked into it and your insurance does not cover the cost <laughs> so it's kind of like uh I don't know but what's cool about Washington is that like all the weed shops because like I've been in a few like with friends and stuff just to like see what it's like and like all the people there are pretty chill and a lot of the shops are like super like trendy and like not bougie but like they're nice looking so i like i wouldn't feel unsafe buying it But I think my biggest grievance is that even if I did choose to smoke, it wouldn't make, like, the sensation go away. So that's kind of, like, a bummer. But, you know, it's fine. I don't care. It's just my reality, so I've got to accept it. Ooh! Okay, okay. Hold. This is actually an interesting choice. I can either get coins and a tarot card or get a follower. Since this run is going decently and my weapon does poison damage... I think I will go with a tarot card. Because I think this run could actually be the run. Ooh, and hearts? Let's go! I can buy another card? Gain an extra two hearts, or enemies have a chance to drop a fish. I'll gain the extra two, baby. And I'll buy a card. Oh, it's recharging. Frick. Never mind. This might be it. This might be it. Okay, they just explode on their own, I guess. I'm sure hurting. I'm actually confident in this run. Everybody, get ready to spam. I was here. I'm like actually tensing up. Come on. Gain an extra heart or increased chance to spawn better chests. I'll take the extra heart. Guys, this might be it.
Easy. Immune to poison? This might actually be it. This might actually be a, a really good run. Scratch that? No, this is the run. Okay, if I break the cocoons before they burst, then no spiders spawn. Game changer. Okay, Wolf, did you know that? Because I, I didn't know that. Because they just burst on their own. Wait, I feel like I might have noticed that the last time I played, but that was like a month ago. You knew that? Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm not that smart. <laughs> Okay, okay, well now that I know that, or now that I've learned that, rather, this might actually be a game changer. Okay, I took a hit. Oh my god. States Cleaver. Swing with a tent plus five damage minus half speed. Or Necromatic Sword. Plus 2.7 damage minus one speed. This one is heavier than the axe, huh? I'll take the axe. Not often you see that. Ain't no way. Guys, we're not clickbaiting. I mean, we still are, because this, this is still only the second boss in Slug's Cradle. Okay, they burst. I'm not dodging as much as I should be. Oh my god, stop. I lost like three hearts. I think it's because I've been getting so many daggers to where I'm, I'm used to spamming, but I can't spam with the axe. A 10% chance to deal a crit or reveal the map. I'll take a crit. Fire projectile when you swing your weapon or plus one blue heart. Ooh, interesting. I think since I'm going into the boss fight soon, I'm going to need as much health as I can get. So let's take a blue heart. forget whenever I do use the axe is that every swing has to have intent. Like you can't just willy nilly spam or swing. You have to actually time it. Oh no, stop! <laughs> okay, I got the hard one out.
What do you think when you, will happen after you beat the four bosses? We're probably gonna have to face the guy who resurrected me. And it's probably gonna be very difficult. Oh, this was a stupid ass room! This was a debate! It, oh no! Please! Please! I also think it's gonna be like the Harry Potter movie ending where it's just white space where everything just goes poof. Everybody go gamble. Do you think I'll beat the boss this time? I think I have the same amount of health I did last time. I think I had like two hearts. But now I have one and a half. What is kind of cool though is I'm immune to poison. Ooh, dude, that was crazy. Oh no. Oh, that hit nobody. Nothing even hit me. Nothing even fucking hit me. What's cool is that we had no doubters. Because you guys didn't even have a minute to predict. <laughs> I'm sad. Stream ends when I beat Silk Cradle. <laughs> that go crazy. Okay, I need to turn my lights down. Cause look, I'm getting a harsh shadow here. GG. <laughs> Surely I'll beat the game today. You got this? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, now it's too dark. Oh my god, hi, Kimari. Can we get some yo's? Surely I'll beat it this time. Oh no, everybody's mad. Go to jail, Mac, where you belong. Okay, stream ends when I beat this boss, I promise. Wait, I need to actually- what is the name called? Second boss in Silk's Cradle. That way we can change the title. Start my homework when you beat the boss. I don't think that'll ever happen, my guy. Oh, wait, shit, I just got spoiled. Because <laughs> the article wasn't loading. Okay, oopsie, I, I accidentally got a, a glimpse of what the other two bosses are. I didn't see what the mechanics were, but I, I only saw. Okay, stream ends when I beat Silk's Cradle. No. <laughs> the boss's name is Vifar. Jafar? Stream ends when I beat Vifar. You love this game? Have you beaten it? No spoilers. I think the only other chatter who's played it is Wolf, and I think they've beaten it too. What 
one day I will beat this game. And then we can play a different game for sub only streams. I think Chatters wanted to do Poke Park. Which obviously will be a lot easier than this game. <laughs> The other night I was talking to my friend, and I remember, because we were talking about Stardew Valley for some reason. Oh yeah, because like, okay, granted this guy's a, this friend is a guy, okay? Keep in mind, we're joking, we're goofing, obviously, in the story. Um. <laughs> so, they were telling me how their friend, for like their birthday, gifted them Stardew Valley on Steam. And I was like, why would they give you that? Okay, because this friend is super masked. Okay, they're really masked. They're a really masculine man. And <laughs> I was like, why'd they give you Stardew Valley? That's some gay ass shit. Okay, guys, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'll clarify. And they were like, my friend was like, didn't you suggest I play Stardew Valley like a year ago? I'm like, no. No. Because <laughs> this friend, they play like shooter games. They play like Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is the story. So, then I was like, no, I suggested you play Cold to the Lamb, you silly belly. I know you won't like fucking Sturdy Belly. But I I think most anybody will enjoy this game. Would you ever play Valorant? No, I... <laughs> Have you seen me play Fortnite? Oh my god. <laughs> No, I- I'm not- I would not be good at it. Cause like, I'm so clueless, cause I know it's like Valorant, you're supposed to like, actually listen. <laughs> no. I can't do it. Okay, head trick. Hello, leader. What a beautiful day in paradise. And might I say you look extra glorious today. Okay, I think they're simping. <laughs> Megan is a PSI 2 Pro of Fortnite. Yes, I got a Victory Royale on like my third or fourth game. It was crazy. I mean, I haven't played Fortnite since that stream. I played like one game offline after but then I couldn't get past like top 50 and then I got upset and then I haven't touched the game since I might play it again because like it was honestly really fun to play but a thing that I've learned is that playing games on stream is so much more fun or playing games with like a friend in VC is so much better than like just playing by yourself. Even if you're not playing the same game with a friend, it's still like nice to like talk to somebody to play. Cause I don't game a lot. Oh no! Pogribre has died. Can we get some PSA two sevens? Sad. <clears throat> I think the last time we played a game offline was playing Pokemon Violet, but I haven't played that in like three weeks, so it's been a while. I've just been watching a lot of streams on YouTube. I've been- I downloaded this like mobile cooking game and I'm fucking addicted. So I guess that's what I've been playing offline. Oh, we got an axe that deals poison damage! Good run. Or maybe it doesn't deal poison damage. I think I just misread. Oh! 
Those projectiles like change direction. Okay, if I played Valorant on stream, would you guys watch? Be be honest. Fuck. Because every streamer tip says don't play Valorant. Nobody will watch you because it's a too popular game. What? How do you hit me? Okay, I need to lure him down here. Yes, okay, that's one plus one viewer. <laughs> Dude, being a one viewer Andy playing Valorant would be so bad. Oh, how did I... That should not have hit me. Okay, two plus two. <laughs> you here for vibes? Well, I'm glad you like my vibe. Dude, stop, stop. I don't even know what you're playing right now. That's kind of how I am too, with like, a lot of the larger streamers, I just enjoy their commentary or their personality enough to where like, I don't need to like the game that they're playing. I think I, I just, I'm really picky about like how people's voices sound. So like, if I don't like how their voice sounds, I don't watch them. Can I dash through here? I don't want to. Yeah, just come over here. Easy. You'd watch it just to see what the game is like? <laughs> you would watch somebody who would, who has, like, never played the game. <laughs> just, like, watch Valky Ray play Valorant one time. <laughs> and then I think you're good. <laughs> Okay. Okay, when attacked, 20% chance of negating damage or 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll take the 20% chance to negate damage. Ooh, attack rate increased by 1.25 or deals poison damage. I'll do the poison. I think the best way to combat spiders is to dodge and then you wait for them to like go to their web. There's so many paths. And then because it'll show an X on the ground to where it'll land. So I think you only should hit whenever you see the X and then just wait for them to spawn. Okay, at least this path, I can get a heart. Or full heal. Cause y'all know I'm- I'ma be needing that. Well, there's a blue heart that I can't reach. Look, it's it's out of... That's so stupid when items spawn outside of the play zone. It's bullshit. Okay, we don't need a new follower because I just want to beat the boss. So I can go watch my... Korean dramas in peace.
The hammers do an insane amount of damage, but for these type of enemies, having to wait basically two seconds before you hit them is not good. Very bad. The enemies will drop two times more fervor or curses consume 25% less fervor. I'll do consume less because we are nearing the final boss room. Surely this will be the run. Okay, I dodged. I don't think. Oh, okay. Yarbrey has died of old age. Oh no. Can I get some PSA two sevens? was not fair. Oh, fuck, there's, there was a heart, there was a heart. Oh no, oh no. I left the heart on the ground. Let me go back. Oh, it's still there. Saved. Plus half a heart. don't know which room I've been to. <gasps> Everybody, peace out to pray. Final boss room coming up soon. Please. I need this. Okay, but maybe now that I see the map and that we're nearing the final boss, maybe I'll just avoid the extra rooms. So maybe this is a blessing in the in disguise. Depending if I should switch for a dagger. I don't think I should. 
So I think keeping your distance is best. Because since the spiders like dash back and forth, it's hard to get close to them. Like the speed is nice, but I don't know if I should do it. just spawn from nowhere. No indicators, no nothing, no cocoons. I'll do the e corth run. Okay, it gave me hard. I was waiting for it to farm hearts. I want to see what happens if we go to previous rooms and see if this heart demon will grab me more hearts. No. Okay. It's probably on a timer. I just remembered. In the sword room. The demon dropped a heart, but I couldn't pick it up because I had full health. Hold. <gasps> it's still there. Okay, good thing I noticed that. You know what else I noticed? Um, we're three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads, but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. If you're a non sub watching a sub only stream, what are you doing? Subscribe with Prime, it's free. Easy clap. After the ad, surely I can beat the boss this time. Get boomed. Okay. I'm gonna move my lights around because now I'm getting no sunlight because it's 5 p.m. Knock my camera tripod over. That could have been very bad. Oh, why is the shadow? Oh, I hate that hold. <laughs> oh, it's because this one is brighter. Duh. That's a bit better. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna beat the boss on this attempt. Surely, everybody go gamble your points. Surely this time I can do it. I have... Oh my god. Oh, I, th I thought the demons were enemies. Okay, that's a bonus room that I don't need to go to. I currently have three and a half hearts, the most hearts I've ever had going into this fight. Okay, dude.
Oh my! Oh no! I'm hitting so you can pass it. Okay. It's been three hours. Now, I think most of you guys can conclude that the actual problem is getting to the actual boss. Okay? It's not the actual fight that is causing the difficulty. Even though in that fight I did have three hearts, which, if I was a pro gamer, I would need zero hearts because I wouldn't take any damage. Question is, should I switch to easy mode? I will let you guys decide. Everybody, Pokemon go to the polls. Vote. Should I enable baby mode? I would just like to say... Don't, don't vote no, please. Please. I am peace. I do pray, please. Okay, I just would like to say... The current trend on Twitch... Is playing games on easy mode so you can beat them faster, so you can see the story faster. Even though this is technically not a story game. I just want to see the ending. I'm voting in my own fucking poll. I'm voting yes. Who wants to break the tie? Everybody Pokemon go to the bulls. Lurkers, chatters, everybody vote. Please? Can I enable baby mode? Guys, you have five seconds. Fuck you guys. Fuck all. Fuck all y'all. I hate this. Okay, you guys voted no. No baby mode. You used it last time? I know! But it was a similar scenario to where we played for three- We- I played for three hours straight. No, don't be side to love. That won't fix it. I'm very disappointed in the nopers. No, I stream today to have fun. I stream today to have my chat room support me. But all you guys want to do is see me suffer. But you enjoy that, huh? You enjoy seeing me fail over and over again. You are clenching your fists knowing that you could play the game ten times better than I could. I get it. But I won't forgive and I won't forget. But honestly, valid. I should play the game at normal difficulty, huh? <laughs> oh, Dio mio. I'm not lying, though. Stream ends when I beat whatever this boss's name is. I would never lie. Okay, be honest. Did the nopers say no just so they can get more channel points knowing that it's gonna take me all goddamn night? Oh. 
No. I mean, Potato, you did say earlier you need more channel points because he graciously donated them to Crystal. He just wanted fun. So you're saying it is fun watching me struggle? I think that's a sign of a bad chatter. Or maybe you just want to see yourself become a follower in the cult. Because we do have... We do need more followers, so therefore if I play the game more, I'll gain more followers in-game. Sigh. Learning the game more is fun. That is very real and true and a really good point. No other reason, smile. I agree, smile. Okay, I'm slouched in my seat because I am very sad and tired. You ever get a pimple on your eyelid and then you don't realize you have a pimple until you scratch it and it really hurts? Okay, they're not dying. Oh wait, no, they did die! Petra, no! I actually didn't think about the channel points till you'd said it. I just can't be giving you guys ideas, huh? Why the music change? Soundtrack is restarting, yeah, because it played for so goddamn long. <laughs> Isn't this like the morning music? It's evening. In game. And IRL, because it's 5 p.m. for me. Okay, let's go again. This time I'll beat it. <laughs> okay, wait, hold. I have a text. I have to answer it. I don't have to, but I should. Oh shit. <laughs> they texted me an hour ago. Uh oh, awkward. Oh, and I got a hammer? Fuck this run, dude. Okay, hold. Um, Meg phone streamer, everybody. Don't you have a friend coming over? Tomorrow, tomorrow. But I cleaned the house already. And inviting somebody over this late? Scandalous. No. <laughs> Sorry. 
I, I texted out damn, but instead of D A M N, I put D A M M. <laughs> damn. Okay. Maybe I can salvage this run. No talking, because I actually need to concentrate if I'm using a hammer. Or I can't talk, you can talk. Receive double health when healing? Double health. Easy. Attack rate increased by 1.25 or 10% chance of getting a blue heart. I'll take a blue heart. I think from this point on, since I know what the enemies are, I think if I get a tarot card where it asks or it lets me reveal the map, I think I'll take it, just so I can avoid the pointless rooms, because it seems like the pointless rooms are, like, actually pointless and legitimately not worth. Do I watch RuPaul's Drag Race? No, I don't. Um, it's just not my type of content. I'm, I'm indifferent about reality TV. I think some of it is entertaining. But I just know that it's all, like, fake and then I get sad. So, like, I'd very much watch, like, a, a program where they're, like, acting. I do know a lot of the memes, kind of. back and get that half a heart. Ooh, plus one. Oh, wait, it's double health when healing. I forgot, so it's actually plus one. Okay, let's keep going. to do a no damage run that's a joke in itself <laughs> no I do not think I'll ever be able to do a damage just run in any game I play <laughs> oh my god I can't 
just run if I do easy mode. Like, legitimately, it could be possible. <clears throat> Plus one follower. Okay, what also sucks about this crusade so far is sometimes the paths, they'll spawn to where it'll just be like resources and then straight to the final boss room. But every single spawn on this crusade, it'll be one additional fighting room before you get to the boss. And I always get stuck at that second boss room. Let's keep going. I just looked at my health. Three coins. one has poison damage <laughs> easy choice jumpy. Did I have coffee today? No, I didn't. Did I have sugar? Cause I, I feel like I'm zooted. I feel like I'm on like a sugar high or something. But I'm not. The only like extra sugar I had today I had like a little bit of lemonade. Oh no! Oh, he's, he's gonna murk me. He's gonna murk me. The chocolates? Oh my god, you're right. I had three of them. 
Oh no. That's probably actually it. Fuck. Cause I'm like, did I have any sugar? I just had like a little bit of lemonade cause like I get those pre-made like fruit smoothie things and then today I just mix a little lemonade in but it could actually be those three chocolates. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Okay, three is my limit. Three is my actual limit. I still have six more to eat too. Okay, wait, I gotta answer this text. Everybody, megaphone streamer. Might as well go crazy. No. No. <laughs> oh, where's megaphone streamer? Chatters, where is it? Oh, right here. 7 TV mode, megaphone streamer. I mean, what would me going crazy be like, even? I've never drank. Sorry, my friend is sad posting. I gotta make sure they're okay. Oh, Woof, you were so close. <laughs> Damn. Tell your friend we said hi. No. <laughs> They would think it's so cringe. Just be like, chat says hi. But then they'd be like, why are you streaming me when you're- Or when you- Why are you texting me when you're live? Because <laughs> I, I tell my friends and shit, like, if you actually need to talk to me, like, ping me. But... <laughs> if it's, like, important, I'll answer. And they're sad posting, so I, I have to <laughs> make friends. I can't. I can't. Guys are so cute. You guys will never meet this friend, though, because they, they literally don't have Twitch. They said they tried watching a stream one time. They tried watching Moist stream because they like his YouTube, but they said it was too boring. Delary said hi, bestie. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm like not actually typing. <laughs> I just had like the the chat open just I had my finger over send and I just blanked. I didn't send. Okay, there we go. Ooh, new follower, plus one. Shalamba, ah. Okay, who's next in line? Next in line was Wub! Dude, Potato and Shambles right now. They've been waiting for... Two hours. <laughs> Omega lol. Wait, did I do Wub already? Oh shit, I made it go away. Oh! That was your Rainbow Redemption, so it actually is Potato. Lol. <laughs> the follower income has been low. It's because I've been taking L after L. Which is my fault. Okay, Chaz, can we do another poll? Let's do another poll. We're doing another poll. Everybody, Pokemon, go to the polls. Use your democratic right. Can we please do baby mode? Please. I just want to beat the stupid bugs. Okay, okay. How about if we switch to baby mode? I will do baby mode until the final boss room, and then I will switch it back to normal difficulty. Just so I can at least get to the goddamn room. Please, everybody vote. Everybody vote. No, I did do the follower for you, because I remember typing in your name, Wolf. I remember. Mm. 
No, guys, please. Well, I'm voting. I'm voting. Fuck you all. Baby mode, everybody. Who's gonna break the tie? Who's gonna break the tie? Please, please, please. If you are a- Stop! Who voted no? If you are a good viewer, you're gonna vote yes. Please! Ah! Okay. Since there was a tie, the first chatter. Whoever types yes or no will determine. Whoever types first. Whoever types first. Yes or no. Baby mode. Whoever typed first. Yes, thank you! <laughs> thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kimari! The fastest fingers in the West, baby! Globo said no- No, that does not count. That does not count. Don't- Don't try to scam me on this shit. Wait, I just realized. Mobile viewers in shambles, because you guys have like a five second delay. Yes, it does. No, uh, no, uh. No, uh. Shoutouts to my... Desktop viewers. <laughs> I also voted in the last second. What did you vote for, though? No, Kobobos did not say no. They said Lomao as their vote. I'm doing it. I'm do- I did it. I, no, stop, Kabobo, you did not say no. You did not. It's not contextually correct. That's like saying, I hate potatoes. Wait, fuck, different example. That's like saying, I hate celery. And then you guys will be like, you said you hate me because you said the word I hate. It's two different things. <laughs> no, I said who voted no. Yeah, that's what you said. Guys, stop. You guys are literally gaslighting me. Stop. Hi, Keelan. I mean, it is late for you, Keelan, so honestly. Go to bed. goes home and cries dad I like making people cry quote me on it <laughs> sorry stream elements lagging is so funny to me it's been five minutes the polling centers are closed. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta answer. Let's indoctrinate everyone, that way they love us for two days. And then we can go on another crusade and freaking win. Oh, also chatters, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel. And if you're watching a sub stream, you can follow and subscribe for free with Prime. That way you can chat with us. Fuck you. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Also, for subscriber-only streams, you have to have notifications on in order to, like, see them right away. Because it, it does show that I'm live, like, in your following tab. But not everybody gets notifications for subscriber-only streams. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> okay, let's go again. Wait, I need demons. Okay, bye, Kiwoon. You rest well. Hope work goes okay tomorrow. But thank you for hanging out. It's a pleasure as always, man.
Okay, we'll do your redemption at the end of stream. Dude, the outhouses aren't even full. And they're shitting and pissing outside. My followers are actually brain dead. They couldn't make it to the restroom? Then wear diapers. Easy. One of my grandma's life hack tips, legitimately, is if you're ever going on like a long airplane ride or a long car trip, wear diapers. That way, if you can't get to the restroom or if you really need to go and the bathroom is occupied, just go in the diaper. Obviously, don't shit in the diaper because that's a bit much. <laughs> okay, I have never tried that life hack, but my grandma has. Okay, good spawn. Finally, not a hammer. I don't need money. Honestly, don't want to waste time. Rate increased by 1.25 or increased chance to spawn better chess. I'll try better chess. It's not often I go with that card, but since I'm fairly early on into the crusade, I'll try it. Maybe I'll get hearts or tarot cards in chess. Okay, attack rate increased by 1.25 or plus one blue heart. I'll take the blue heart. Oh wait, I just realized- I was like, why is this so much easier now? <laughs> Clueless! <laughs> oh my god, I'm still taking L's. Oh my god. I think the main difference between easy and normal is that the enemies have less health, so therefore they need less damage taken. I totally forgot I changed the difficulty. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, I was like, damn, this ain't that bad anymore.
Okay, overall weapon and damage increased by 1.2. Easy. <clears throat> okay, so it does not change the layout of the actual map. Hmm. Okay, okay. The smart thing to do. Even though this one you can get a tarot card and get a follower. Getting full heal right before the boss room is key. So let's do that path. Lamau, well, yeah, I, I'm just totally clueless. I'm at, it's 5.30, this is my nap. I don't take a nap at this time. This is like my calm, chill time. This is my no thinking time. I really hope there's no difference between these two. Oh, <laughs> stop. should have done I should have started off this gameplay playthrough at easy mode and not tell you guys I should have just changed it like offline and then start stream and be like oh man I'm so good at this game and you guys would have no idea I would just never open the settings menu you guys would be clueless more damage during the day. Peace I to false advertisement? Not all. Upgraded axe. Okay, it's not that much slower. So it's not as bad. So I can always get a different curse later on, probably. Plus one. <clears throat> chance of getting a blue heart when killing an enemy. See, like, I don't even need the full heal. Or maybe I'll get a blue heart. Yeah, okay. Okay, as promised, I am changing the difficulty back to normal now that we're heading towards the boss room. You guys can't say I scammed. It's back at normal. Please, this has to be it. Oh, 
Okay, dude. Love how when I changed the fucking difficulty, I took three hits. Oh my god. Stop. Who who cares? Three projectiles or... Uh, I'll take the new curse. I think losing that 0.5 speed really hurt me. Okay, new rule. I will change the difficulty to normal when I enter the fucking boss room. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, I bet if I started stream at like 10 a.m., I'd be absolutely cracked. It's also my dinner time, so I'm hungry. I'm gonna come up with every single goddamn excuse I can, okay? Why am I increasing the faith of an old man? They're gonna fucking die. Because you should only really increase your faith to the villagers who are young because they can use them as demons. Because the higher faith level, the better demon they're gonna be. Okay, let's go again. This run will be the run, I promise. And if it's not, it's gonna be the end of me. Okay, honestly, a dagger, I think it's better than the goddamn axe. Okay, this might actually be like a final run. Oh my god, <laughs> stop! Why is that there? Because I'm getting legitimately tired.
but since it's gonna be possibly my last run, surely I'm gonna beat it this time. Mm-hmm. Sleep stream? Nah, I ain't never doing a sleep stream. Oh wait, I didn't finish what I was saying about that earlier. I said the reason why I can't do a sleep stream is because like I legitimately can't sleep if I'm wearing too many layers. Like when I go to sleep, I wear like a tank top and like short shorts because like otherwise I overheat. So no way, no way can I sleep on stream. Like, I could wear, like, normal PJs, but I wouldn't sleep. It would just be me pretending to sleep straight. And that's not nearly as fun. Okay, homie, stop. Oh my god! Easy. <laughs> Harvest bonus resources or gain an extra heart. I'll take the heart because I have very little. Immune to poison or 10% chance to deal a crit. I'll be immune to poison, so that will help during the final boss fight that I will reach. Because this is the run. This is it. Shoutouts to everybody who's been watching the whole stream. I appreciate you for hanging out. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Just let me get a dub! I went to the gym and had lunch. And I have yet to beat one boss in the game. Does sleeping count? If you keep the dab open, yeah. Okay, okay, hear me out. I'm gonna need that full heal. Cause like, I don't expect anybody to chat during the whole stream cause I think that's crazy. Okay, not that it's crazy. I mean, like, that's unfair to expect from anybody. I think it's unfair when Twitch streamers expect their mods to watch every stream all during the whole duration. Because, like, talking about small streamer drama, that's one of the hot topics where it's like, I expect my mods to watch every stream. I expect them to actively mod every stream that they do watch. And it's like... Why are you- why are you expecting that when you're not giving them anything? You know what I mean? That's why I'm like, I will pay people for their time if I can't afford to. That's why I said I, I don't think I need to mod anybody until I can afford to compensate them. And in terms of compensation, I was thinking about offering like a Twitch gift card every month value to be determined <laughs> um because that way it would pay for like their gifted sub to the channel and then oh come on the, out of all the fucking projectiles of course i had did that one it would pay for their sub to my channel and then they can also like use it on other channels too stop and then i was also thinking about because theoretically affording to pay somebody would mean you have a guaranteed payout and also probably a threshold in which you reach every time you hit a payout. 
So I was thinking, I was like, maybe you can dedicate like 10 to 20% of your income towards the mods. Because theoretically, if you make maybe a thousand a month from stream, okay. Very little, not livable wages for yourself, of course. But still, a thousand is a good hunk of change. Uh, fire projectile when you swing your weapon, or a 10% chance of getting a blue heart. I'll do the projectile since we're nearing the end. Um, but even like 10% of that is 100. And if you have one mod, plus 100 bucks, right? Granted, if we're talking about minimum wage, I think average minimum wage in the States is like $9, $10. So, um, 100 divided by 10. Ten dollars or ten hours worth of ten hours or ten hours of t <laughs> ten hours of work, which then you would only really need to guarantee that they actually mod for ten hours, right? Oh, I can dodge through that. They don't necessarily need to mod every single stream. Oh my God! Stop. Because if you stream forty hours. I don't expect anybody to watch for 40 hours, because that's crazy. But... That way, if you, you calculate it in that way... Oh, stop! Hit me twice! Then you can be like, well... If I'm gonna give you about 100 bucks this month, then you only need to mod for 10 hours. I don't know, it, it, it might not make sense, but it makes sense in my head. Because if you're making about a thousand bucks from Twitch every month, then you're probably averaging like a hundred-ish viewers. But as always, like your Twitch income depends on like your sub count and your your bit donation stuff. But if you're averaging a hundred, you probably get you probably have a good handful of boilers. Ooh. I'll take the sword. I don't need no stinky dagger. But that is why I would offer a gift card in turn with a percentage of income. Because let's say there's a month where I make $500. So therefore 10% would be $50. But then you can still offer a guaranteed like $25 to $50 gift card depending. And I, that way you'd still get a total of like a hundred bucks a month. Minimum. Does that make sense? Because I don't want anybody to do anything... ...without getting something from it. And I know, like, nobody... ...nobody pays their mods. Like, I have asked... A few streamers that I know and literally nobody does like a few have like donation links they'll be like oh all of my donations through Streamlabs or stream elements go towards my mods but I don't think many people donate for that reason and I don't think people would donate just to pay your mods because in my head as a viewer I anticipate any donation goes to the creator so I don't know if that's effective way to do so there's some people who have separate donation links so they'll have like a link to donate to the streamer and then a link that'll go towards the mods oh finally boss fight coming soon and i personally would rather donate to the streamer as an individual rather than the mod team which sounds shitty to say but i don't know I, I just don't want anybody to feel like they're being exploited. But then it's all- to me, the only counter-argument to like my ideology towards like using that payment method would be like, well, you're paying people like potentially half of what they would make working a real job, right? And that is true, but then it's also like kind of better than nothing, but then it's also like, well then it's kind of a spit in the face if you're paying them less than what they could make spending their time elsewhere and it's like true so it's like a double-edged sword 
it's either you compensate your mods, but you obviously can't compensate them as much as you could for a full job, or you don't compensate them at all, and then that's just the norm. I don't know. <laughs> Because I've modded for a few channels. Um, I've been removed. Okay, I didn't. I didn't get removed. I asked to be unmodded. Because <laughs> like modding is stressful. Okay, you're worried about like how the chat room behaves. You're worried about what the streamer is doing. It's very like all-consuming. It makes the stream not fun anymore to watch. Because I feel like most moderators for any channel are like avid viewers who genuinely enjoy the creator or the stream. So becoming a moderator kind of ruins it, not gonna lie. Because I noticed for- okay, fervor replenishes fully when entering a new combat room or overall weapon damage increased by 1.2. I'll do weapon damage increase because I'm only gonna use my curse in the final room. Um, receive double the health when healing or 10% chance of getting a blue heart. I'll do double heal. Easy. Because I noticed in the channels that I modded for, I felt like I had to watch every stream. I felt like I had to keep my eyes glued to the screen the whole time. I was always hyper scared or aware. Like if any shithead came in, like I'd be so scared. Because like, oh come on, why do I have no health? I have no goddamn health. Oh thank you, thank you, thank you! Plus three damage, merciless sword. Yes, sir. Oh, that was my crit. Okay, everybody, everybody. As promised, I would never lie. I am changing it back to normal mode. And I can also guarantee that it's time for me to run an ad. Lamo. So you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad for viewing all month long. You can also link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you have Prime available. If you are watching a sub link stream and you aren't a sub, what are you doing? Just subscribe, it's five bucks, skip your coffee, and give it to me. Easy. <laughs> After the ad, I'm gonna beat it. Surely this run, I'm gonna beat it. If I don't, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna actually cry on stream. Okay, let's do this. I have four- wait, prediction! I have four and a half hearts. Okay, everybody go gamble. Also, keep in mind, this is normal difficulty now. I'm no longer scamming. But the curse didn't come out. Oh, that is such a shitty curse. Oh, no. Okay, I'm getting more brazen. Now that I have more health, I think I can just not take any damage. Oh my god, I'm so close! I beat his ass. Oh. Uh. Uh. Finally. Oh my god. Finally. Okay, there's nobody in line to redeem. Any redeemers want to be this special follower? Any redeemers, Kim, you want to redeem? Ooh, thank you for that half a heart. Any sacrificers? Oh my god, finally it's over. Oh my god. Thank you, Kim, for redeeming. Let me go home, please. No, let me go home. Finally, after four hours. <laughs> Yeah, can we get some 
Drake's in chat for me. Oh my God. See, all I need... I think... It's the endurance. Like, being able to be, like, fully focused for 10 minutes is too hard for me. It's over. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, let's get out of here, please. <sighs> Welcome in, Kim. You're the special shiny villager. Wait, you have that green goop on your head. Ew. You got mold. Ew. Okay, Kim's chat color is yellow. <clears throat> Did anybody die? Oh, nobody died for once. Okay, let's sit. Oh my god, I just realized I haven't saved at all. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Wait, I just realized... Okay, there we go. I had the sound uh, output wrong. So even if I had a TTS, it wouldn't have captured it. Oopsie. Did I beat the boss? Yes, I did. Yes, sir. You guys were here. Okay, let's do calligraphy now so I can go eat dinner. <laughs> calligraphy time. Yep. Okay, let me get the music set up. I have to pair my headsets to my computer, so it'll take like 30 seconds. Oh, they are connected. Weird. Oh no. Oh, damn it. There it is. I I'm I'm annoyed now because since I stream from my laptop, I can only have the one monitor. So in order to capture Windows properly, I need to have, like, like the pop-up windows be a certain size. So right now, my OBS is a little less than half of the screen. My Twitch mod view is a little more than half. And then my browser that I use to capture music, I had it at, like, two-thirds of the screen. But then I used it earlier just to browse the internet. And then I decreased the window size to a quarter. So, look, YouTube time is fucked. See, like, now the crop is bad. It's fine. It don't matter today. We're not watching YouTube. Okay, good luck every time. Any redeemers? If you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. And if you give to sub, I will eat a chocolate next time, because I already had three today. Let's see. We have... Okay, we had Wolf Redeem Rainbow.
I hope you guys had fun today. I had a lot of fun. I was debating if I wanted to stream or not today. Because, like, I woke up in a weird mood. But then, like, after... I think it's, like, one of those things where if you, like, do nothing or if you stay in bed all day, it kind of perpetuates that mood. But once you, like, get up and do shit, like, take a walk and do some chores or stop procrastinating on your work... Then I think it subconsciously makes you feel more accomplished and feel better. Because, like, this morning, I did meal prep at, like, 7 a.m. And then I did my homework right after. And then I felt good. Oh, shit. <laughs> I moved the paper. Calling me up? I mean, you did say once I beat the boss, you would start your homework. So, get on it, wolf. Oh, why is the camera cooked? Oh, shit. No free feet. <laughs> yeah, and if I do a sleeping stream, I, I literally can't sleep with my socks on. It, it's so uncomfortable, so I, I would have to show feet, and I don't like that. Okay, this is our last name. So any redeemers or oilers, this is your last chance. There we go. Last call. Guys got five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're done. We're done. No stalling. No redeemers. We're done. Okay. So everybody. Ignore the clutter. That's just art supplies. It's nothing. <laughs> Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching any chatters lickers. Thank you all for hanging out in this super exclusive and secret subscriber only stream um, I don't know when I'll be live again probably Tuesday because I'm hanging out with a friend tomorrow and then Monday is like Housework day So I'll probably see you guys maybe Tuesday or Wednesday um, As always make sure you have notifications turned on that way you don't miss a single stream and follow my Twitter. That way you don't miss a single stream. Oh, you can't. Okay. Uh, click the link in chat. Twitter.com slash PC17. Everybody go follow my Twitter, please. Look at that. See you next time, yeah? For sure. Thank you for hanging out. Shout out to everybody who watched the whole goddamn stream. Minus four hours. <laughs> But I hope you guys had fun. I, I always have fun chatting with everybody and hanging out. I'm so appreciative of my chat room. You guys make me feel better and happy anytime I stream. So genuinely, thank you. Um, okay, bye. No farming. Fake as fuck. <laughs> okay, but th seriously, thank you all. I was feeling kind of sad earlier, but I feel better now. Oh, I know I said I was going to do cookies, but I think we'll save that stream for a rainy day. Because since I made banana bread, I don't think it'd be good if I made cookies and banana bread, you know? I don't want to get too big. And I don't think we could eat all the sweets anyway. Because if my sister and roommate said that the banana bread was too sweet... I don't think they can eat a boatload of cookies. Too much sugar, yeah. Oh, I think I need to get like Nutella though, because since I thought the, <laughs> the banana bread wasn't sweet enough, I wanna add Nutella, because I feel like that'd be bomb. Oh, 
don't know, but today was a lot of fun. I, I, I started stream today. I was like, yeah, I can beat Silk's Cradle, Gobium. Only beats one boss in four hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I'm a personality streamer, not a gamer. Look at my bio. I think my bio is kind of crazy, though. I think it is... Come from mid-tier gameplay, stay for S-tier comedy, which I think is the perfect descriptor for me. I've It's been my bio since I've started, and I think it's pretty killer. Okay, I gotta answer right now, so I can go eat. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Real Andrew. Okay, bye, Kim. Bye, everybody.